Vambora. Hora de jogar Killer Frequency. A frequência do assassino ou do assassinato. Seja lá o que significa isso. Provavelmente é um jogo que deve durar a madrugada inteira. Tô curioso pra ver. Se você não vai dormir cedo e precisa de alguém pra te fazer companhia nessas horas, você tem o seu lugar aqui. Frequência assassina. Legal, legal. Esse outlinezinho parece muito a estética do, do tabletop de Sdol mesmo. Pega isso. Eu posso interagir com objetos, jogar objetos. Uma cervejinha. Segure o botão direito para botar o objeto em um local adequado. Ah, isso é melhor. Bota aqui. Não! O design de som nesse jogo tá muito bom. Ok. Deu ruim com a energia? Liguei a energia. Tem alguém aqui dentro? Que isso, meu Deus? O que eu tô fazendo nesse beco? Inspecionar objeto. Aperte E para inspecionar um objeto. Ah, legal. Segure e mova ele. Eu posso inspecionar. Posso olhar isso aqui? E. Cafã. É um rádio, uma rádio. Contro para me agachar, beleza. Eu consigo abrir essa porta? Não. Abrir portas. Ei! Porta jump scare. O que tá acontecendo? Ah, tem um homem mascarado ali dentro. Máscara, senhor. Estilosa. Por que você tá olhando assim? Tomei. Alguém? Você ouve algo? Tô no rádio. Hã? Ouve o quê? Eu pensei que eu ouvi alguém gritando. Ou... Eu não sei. Alguém morreu no meu beco. Forrest, é isso uma joke? Não, eu... I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. <laughs> I know what a cat is. But I mean, does Gallows Creek have a stray cat problem or something? <laughs> not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously, do we have to do these Aye, checks we'll every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us Acho to check the equipment for each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to, vamos fazer as verificações de como usar uma mesa de DJ. All right, fine. Let's get through this. All righty, this is your captain speaking. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular ends. Let's start with record playing. <sighs> ok, grab a record, stick it on the player and hit play. Easy. Uh, eu posso escolher uma música. Eu quero ouvir Stab in the Night. Uh, Forrest, you need to grab a record eu and sei fazer, it on the turntable. Got it. Ok, ok. Great. Now turn it off. Ué. Ei, uh -huh, uh -huh. Press the stop button on the record player. Nossa, a música me fala, ô oh, louco. Pronto, senhora. All right, up next, phone line buttons. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. Linha de telefone. Cadê o telefone? É isso aqui. All right, Peggy. Ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. You get it? Yeah, it's a riot. 
great, and button two works just the same. So, let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. Ah, pera para falar com a Peggy. Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm, is there a Peggy mute button? They haven't invented it yet. Now, come on. Tá. The Peggy button Acho is que isso the third é... one on the phone line. É pedir dica, né? I labeled it for you. Se você tiver preso, você pede dica para ela. <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. Painel de som. Okay. There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Just the volume sliders left. These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Okay. Play a record and change the volume. Ah, with the eu posso. Eu, é igual eu tenho na vida real. Ele tem um Go XLR aqui também. Ok. Uh, dá play aqui e eu posso aumentar a música. All right. Seems to be all working. We done, Captain? <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. Local time? Ah, should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Now, let's get the show started. After your introduction, our first segment is Guess That Scream. I que grito é esse? thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Okay. You're live in three, two, one eighty-nine. Boa tarde, rapaziada. Meio dia, começando mais uma live aqui no meu canal. Good evening, Gallows Creek. Opa. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to one eighty-nine point sixteen, The Scream. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late-night phone-in talk show. I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm gonna play you a scream, then you call Tem and... Saber de qual filme. Guess that scream. We need you to guess why they're screaming. O motivo do grito. Stub their toe, saw off a finger, or... Que ideia horrorosa. The corpse of Achei que era pra tipo... Ah. That's good. Mano, eu tinha achado a ideia até interessante. Pô, que legal, tipo, um quiz show de filme de terror. Você escuta o grito e você tem que descobrir que ah, é, é do Pânico, é do Halloween, é do Jason, tá ligado? Tipo, você tem que descobrir qual filme... Sexta-feira, tipo, você tem que descobrir qual filme é. Ia ser legal, ia ser, pô... Agora, o que que é? Eu torturando a minha avó? Eu esfaqueando a, a minha mãe? Uma criança sendo sequestrada? Quem está gritando? Tipo, que isso, mano? Caralho, ô louco. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close. And then call in to guess that scream. Peggy, what do you mean play the tape? I just have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. Que fita, Forrest, you do have the tape right. You knew we were doing this tonight. Peggy, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible. É verdade, idea. é verdade. Peço me dê. Peraí, peraí. No, I, I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea, oh! but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest, and you're the one at the mic, so. Peraí, eu vou ter que gritar. Eu vou ter. Estou falando sério. Really, Peggy? You want you want me to scream? You know this show depends on my golden voice, right? Come on, Forrest, just do it. That's enough dead air already. Ah! Let Nossa. it rip. Oh God. Não funciona. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to <laughs> guess that scream. Desculpa se eu te acordei. Eu vou gritar o monstro perturbado. <laughs> Well, folks, there you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. Nunca mais isso, fried dough? Just call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guest. Now, here's some music while you get dialing.
posso apresentar a música. Algumas respostas em mim. Como assim? It's funky, it's groovy, it's ah. Stab in the Twilight by Knife and Easy. Oh, God, Forrest, that was amazing. Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. Parece Silent Hill esse mapa. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? Lighten up, Forrest. Um lugar tranquilo para descansar. Outrora no território de caça, desafiador para os melhores. Hoje é uma parada divertida e acolhedora no meio do caminho. Não importa se você veio oh, passear Forrest, ou você está. Time to turn the music off. Welcome to 189.16. A pior rádio do stream, caller. You're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. Okay, okay. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Okay, eu com isso. Você tá ligando para adivinhar que grito é esse? Welcome to the show, Leslie. Are you calling in to guess that scream? As a 911 operator, I bet you may have an educated é verdade, guess. Ela ouviu vários gritos. No! Look, I found a body and I need your help. Que? 911 Por que is que calling tava... me to report a body. Interesting setup. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? Forrest, I recognize your voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy. Por que tá ligando para um rádio para falar disso? Prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Você devia falar com a polícia, mano. Leslie, if you're telling the truth, you should report this to the sheriff. What was his name? Sheriff Andrews or whatever? It's right now. Wait, what? Sheriff Matthews is dead. Oh! What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and... Ele é o corpo. I found him. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and... I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... Okay, okay, okay. Tem mais alguém, hein? Well, is, is anyone else at the station? Anyone who can help you? Or, or who might be responsible? No. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. God, wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three. But Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Oh, Gunderson. Leslie, Gunderson. do you have any idea who could have done Oficial this? Gunderson. Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Okay. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself. Let them know what's going on and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's gonna man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come in to you. Por quê? Porque, mano, ela tava botando as, as chamadas da polícia pro, pro rádio. I'm a radio talk show host, Leslie. I talk to idiot people about their idiot ideas. I'm not a 911 operator. Why me? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. You're the only person. Que isso, mano? É a cidade do, do, da terceira... Besides, Como assim? Só tem eu que sei usar um telefone. skills between the two. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. Tem you do know that I'm so good at interviews. They sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Hell, let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Okay. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, 
And the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's got to be another way in. Deixa eu ver aqui na delegacia. Cadê a delegacia? Delegacia aqui, ó. Eu, eu tô aqui. Rise and Shine Coffee, Fire Station, Train Station, Power Station. Aqui o escritório. Mano, não tem, não tem nenhuma entrada aqui, senhora. Uh, tem outra forma de entrar na cela? Is there another way into the holding cell that you can see? It wouldn't be much of a holding cell if it had a back door. Verdade. Tentar arrombar a porta? Any chance you could break down the door? It's a holding cell for. Oi, ignorante. Então, por que, que tá querendo me ajuda, porra? Tudo que eu falo é ruim. Tem outro muro de chaves? There's got to be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only ones. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Uh, verifica o próprio corpo dele. Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he, you know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but I didn't really look up close. One second. Oh, I think I might be sick. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm just gonna turn you over and. Oh. Please don't stare at me. I... Wait, that might be them. I, I, th I think I got the cell keys. Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do. Nice. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Podemos deixar divertido para audiência. Tô botando aqui os sons, os efeitos sonoros. Uh... Eu vou me demitir se isso for um trote, concordo. I, I swear to God, Peggy, if this is some sort of joke, I'm leaving this town. I've never heard of anything like like this happening in broadcast. Tecnicamente está, é, é, exato. Tecnicamente eu estou transmitindo isso na rádio e aí a polícia me ligou e falou que o polícia, o xerife está morto e eles vão e eu vou ter que receber todas as ligações de polícia a partir de agora. I've never heard about anything like this Transmitindo either. No rádio. But we're here now, Forrest, and we've just got to see what happens next. Come on, Martinez. There we go. I'm just gonna sit you in your office chair. I'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. Verdade. Uh, ok, é a coisa certa a se fazer. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risk right now. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. What? No, no way. This can't. Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. What is What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling. É o mesmo cara da whistling? máscara, eu acho. It Não, é o assassino assoviador. Oh my God. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? With that mask. How the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. But he's dead. É realmente um assassino sobreviveu. Oh god. Do you think Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming this way. Traga as portas. Stay inside and lock the doors. Right. Shit, we need a new plan. My car is torched. We need to think. Pega uma viatura. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like you should take one of those. I... Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any I'll just reach into your pocket. Senhora, pelo amor de Deus, senhora. Yes, got him. Keys for squad car 3. Viatura 3. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Okay, okay. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. But wait. 
How am I supposed to get us to the car? A pé? The whistling man is right there. Pega a arma do polícia, do xerife. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Ele tá morto. Você vai usar ela. There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. Porque se a polícia, ah, oh, meu Deus. I... Ah, ele Shit. tinha tentado usar a munição inteira para se defender. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. Usa do Martinez. Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. Okay, okay. Oh, esse jogo tá, tá me deixando tenso. Tô gostando. Tá bem legal a imersão. All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Which should I take? Taser, 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 taser. I mean, it's got to be the taser, right? Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then. Wait. É o melhor. Se tivesse o craft, aí. Não. No, I I can't hear anything. Exactly, it's gone quiet. No more knocking. Cuidado. Be careful. I don't like it. Me neither. But it's an opening, and I've got to take it. Okay, Deputy Martinez. If you can hear me, it's time to move. Just lean on me. Yep. There you go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? Hoje é 3 de setembro. Like the present, right? Is that the bite of 87? Here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. If I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you soon. Boa sorte, Leslie. Well, good luck. This is the part where the killer comes out of nowhere, isn't it? <sighs> you know, I've got to say this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for Ghost Light Gigawatt no mesmo festival. Zica demais. O Knife Nisi tá em tour. Oh, I think we've got Leslie back opa, on the opa, line. Opa, opa. I'm putting the call through. Hello? Forrest? Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Ela tá no carro. Over. Tamo, tamo, tamo. Oi. Tamo aqui, câmbio. We're here. Leslie. So I, I guess you made it to the car then. Over? Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Deputy Martinez is in the passenger seat, still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. So I'm going to get us moving. Okay, okay. Jesus! God damn it! Get, get back! Get away from her! Okay, ele chegou. O assoviador. Leslie, what's happening? The whistling! No! Get off her! Onde ela tá? Onde ela tá? Onde ela tá? Onde ela tá com o carro, mano? Caralho. Yeah. Meteu o taser, meteu o taser, meteu o taser. Leslie, drive! Don't worry, Deputy Martinez. We're out of here. Leslie, are you two okay? Did Você you tá get away? Tá morrendo, porra. Forrest, that taser? Definitely the right call. Confia no pai. Oh my god, I can't believe we escaped. Well done, Leslie. You saved a life. Just another day for you. Oh my god, yeah. But let me tell you. I prefer doing it from your side of the phone. Você considerar as outras opções, um cacetete, a mulher ia bater e ia morrer, porque às vezes o cara podia saber kung fu, e um spray de pimenta, o mano usa uma máscara. Como que o spray de pimenta vai fazer com ele? Pouca coisa. Leslie, how long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek has a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while, maybe two, three hours each way. Slightly less if I put my foot down. Pisa fundo. You keep that pedal to the floor then. We'll see when you're back. You don't have to tell me twice. O leste hey, da Mac Ready Street vai estar fechado. I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. Forrest, Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon, but I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Se cuida. Take care, Leslie. Be safe out there. Good luck, Leslie. Onde ela falou que tava indo, Chad? Onde ela falou que tava indo? Pra outra cidade, né? Pra Gallow Creek. Não, Gallow Creek é onde... Gallow Creek é onde a gente tá agora. Folks, you heard it here. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We're gonna get back to the show, meanwhile. 
If you have anything on your mind or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16, The Scream. For now, here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. This is actually insane. Did she really say it's gonna take her four hours? This guy's gonna kill half the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, I know, I just... <sighs> Who is this Whistling Man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Mooney. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling, and killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. No reason for it. No motive. He just... Baixa a música. Propaganda, tem que ganhar meu minha grama. Do you seek ancient wisdom? Do you want to double your power? Are you ready to unlock oh. your inner warrior for only $24.99? See? Then step into Master Robbie's deadly dojo of Kung Rate and receive direct by video warrior instruction from me, Master Robbie. You will learn the four qualities of an ultimate conqueror. The power of the alligator. The discipline of the tarantula. The speed of the tuna. The poise of the scorpion. And the wisdom of the bullfrog. Using classified techniques, I'll unlock your inner chi after only five 30-minute video sessions. Ultimate power and wisdom can be yours now for the low, low price of only $24.99. Just call 555-7861-USA to take your first step to becoming a champion. Foda pra caralho! Never forget the element of surprise! If you buy today, you'll receive two additional VHS tapes. The Tornado Technique and Karate Love Me. Call today! Caralho, não tinha acabado! Tinha um plot twist no final, tinha um pós-crédito da propaganda, agora sim. Estação é a MFM 0.4. Ah. O que aconteceu com ele? Ok. O que aconteceu? Well, please chase him up to Alice Point one night. We call it whistling. Program. Ah, eu tô falando dessa cena, é verdade. And it was, well. It was on this night, actually. The police cornered him, and he jumped into the river. No rio, qual rio? His body was never found. Aqui. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, aqui. what's the story? Foi aqui, foi aqui. The story is he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's the story. Isso não fazem literalmente 30 anos. Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight. Pô, tem médico as duas. E dia 24 é minhas férias. I guess we'll find out what we're dealing with, whether we like it or not. I guess so. <sighs> at least we got the word out, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday, after midnight? 35? Could be around 35? Caralho! 35? Isn't 3,500? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 people. At best. I just think... 35 ouvintes, fã de sério. Are you serious? We only have 35 listeners? Não acredito. 35, yeah. It's a school night. And what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh. How many did you get before? You know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah, before that. Around five for most shows on the low end? Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the low end? We could only dream of that. Five million. Caralho! Million? Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. I guess. Meu mano yeah, para I guess milhões. we're gonna learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. 
Take it when you're ready. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Ah bon? Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. Is everything, uh, all right? Aí você emerge. Assassino que vai te matar. Ok, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? Que isso, amigão? Tá bem aí? Ô, oh, desliga aí, pode desligar. Okay, what's your name and why are you calling in? You know my name. I've come back from the dead to kill again. No one. No! Você aceita sugestões? Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. Uh, maybe you must make a sacrifice to us. A sacrifice to us? I, I mean, me. We want cheese dusted pretzel. Não é possível, velho. Aí. Goddamn kids. I'm cutting them off. Obrigado. Ah, não quero negociar com ele. I want to deal with them. Um refri e pretzels e queijo para parar de matar os outros. Ok, combinado. Okay, so cheese dusted pretzels and a mega gulp behind the gas station. You got it, whistling man. Uh, a wise choice. See you soon, Morris Nash. Chalupa cabras. Needless to say, I won't actually be going out to the gas station to buy anything for these kids. And none of you should be going out tonight either. We've got an actual killer out there. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and your windows locked. Eu sou um bom radialista, tô sentindo. Vamos anunciar a música. Time to go on the journey that is. Last processor with their hit song, 1980X. Peggy, what the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? Oh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this whistling man character? They think it's funny, but it's not. It's not funny I at all. Engraçado, I there's engraçado. no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... No, that... That's real. <sighs> Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. All right. Let's do this. Tem mais alguém ligando? Espera aí. When you're ready, shut the music off. Hello, caller. You're live on the screen. Eu, mano, with DJ Corte Seco, devia ter abaixado o volume. What? I, I dialed 911. Oh my I God. I need the sheriff right away. Ligar para a polícia. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name and what's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp and I need the cops now. Okay, hora da verdade. I'm sorry, but the cops no, are no, no, no. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? Oh, God. Listen, you've got to help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run and now some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me. Okay. Knife in hand. Okay. Ela tá aqui. It's actually happening. Ela tá no jazz. Uh, onde você tá agora? Where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I just ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. But I dropped my keys somewhere along the way. I never locked the door because I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Uh, você 
Pode ir para outro lugar? Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I Puta, que pariu ele tá lá. Oh, shoot. Oh, he's back. Oh, I don't know anything about cars. But I gotta start this engine without the keys. And you're gonna have to help. Como é que eu vou ajudar a senhora? Wait, wait, wait. I don't. If it helped, I got a toolkit. Tem alguma algum guia de crime, cometer crimes aqui? Listening to 189.16, The Scream, hosted by me, Forrest Nash, your friendly neighborhood radio host, mechanic, and savior. Sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. Algum guia, algum guia para para fazer ligação direta? Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something? Tamora Twins, Tamora Twins. Timberline Twins talk motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Really? They look the same though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really sorry. Shut up, me diz aí o bagulho. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. Ah, eu posso sair. Caralho, eu posso sair, que zica. Um cafezinho. Nossa, fazer um cafezinho. Fazer um cafezinho. Põe mais, por favor, por favor. Quero o café, quero o café. Que que é isso? É leite? Pô, não tem café, pelo amor de Deus, gente. Que lindo. Mano, esse jogo é tão... Tem tanto detalhe. Eu queria ficar um maior tempo olhando as revistas e as coisas, tá ligado? Tá mó legal. Megabyte. O futuro é agora. Creepy Hour, Suburban Nightmare. Olha quanto detalhe, tipo, toda revistinha e tal. Muito carinho nesse jogo. Ok, eu preciso achar. Não, esse aqui é o banheiro feminino. Pera. Não, esse é Esse é o. Posso dar uma mijada? Hã? Ah! This looks useful. Caralho, eu achei uma revista de carro dentro do banheiro. Fui mijar só. Ok, como roubar um carro? Primeira passo: use uma chave de feira como chave. Se não der certo, remova a capa do, do volante. Verifique o número de série. Ok, isso aqui é tudo bom. Rádio aqui. Ah, é a rádio? É o que eu tô tocando agora, faz sentido. Prezado Bradley Carter, aproveite uma amostra grátis de pão de alho. Grampemos essas últimas ofertas e promoções do lado de fora da caixa. Queria a luz ler ao vivo. A nova oferta do Assassin em série é horrível, então é melhor ler o nosso anúncio. Um perito como você tem que experimentar nossa pizza assada por três horas. Oi, eu comi o pão de alho. Assim como o seu programa tava medíocre, mas vale a pena conferir. Caralho. Ruevos rancheiros são maravilhosos. Crítica preliminar. Chupa la chalupa cabra. Ninguém pode cortar, discordar que os sabores da chalupa cabra são os melhores da cidade. Apesar da opção cara, o melhor com certeza é El Diablo Burrito. Eles também estão fazendo um bagulho com o diabo, caralho. Pela centésima vez, esse trocadilho é muito idiota, ninguém vai entender. Maravilhosos? Porra, dá pra entender. Anúncio do assassino em série. Vou levar isso comigo. Vou tocar esse anúncio depois. Gêmeos, eu peguei emprestado a revista de roubo de carro. Aqueles oivos rancheiros não caíram bem, vou precisar de alguma coisa pra ler, rezem por mim. Ah, eu tinha que ir no banheiro agora, mas eu sem querer descobri antes. Truck! Full color nuts and bolt action! America! Muito detalhe, é muito louco isso. Tá, alguém tava atendendo o telefone. Bom, eu vou voltar lá que eu já achei que eu precisava para ajudar a mulher. So many locked doors, so few keys. Verdade. 
Pera, antes, deixa eu dar uma explorada a mais no estúdio aqui. Ah, aqui é onde ela tá ficando. E aqui é... Acho que aqui é pra ir embora, talvez. Aqui é onde a, a Peg tá. E aqui é meu estúdio. Vamos entrar. Senhora, eu trouxe o bagulho. Fecha sozinho? Fecha sozinho. Opa. Já achei. O que eu tenho que falar com a Peg? Eu, tenho, eu, eu tô achando que falar com a Peg é pedir dica. Eu não quero pedir dica, mas eu vou, eu vou, eu vou confirmar. You find anything? Yeah, I, I found, found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, that sounds perfect. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Acho que é só confirmar que você quer continuar e não quer, quer parar de explorar. Esse, lembra do outro jogo que, que a gente... Lembra do outro jogo que a gente deu uma... Que tinha um conceito parecido de ficar falando no, numa, numa cabine? Off. Esse jogo faz algo bem melhor, que é... Você consegue fazer as coisas no seu próprio tempo, tá ligado? Ele te dá o tempo de explorar, olhar as coisas, prestar atenção. O jogo não fica te, te impressionando. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Ela tá impressionando. Mas, enfim, se eu quiser, eu posso ficar explorando, tá ligado? Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? The creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. Okay, it's a chave de feira, senhora. Uh, coloca a chave de fena na, na ignição e gira no sentido horário. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. I... I... Oh. Screwdriver's too... Não funcionou, não funcionou. What next? Uh... Desparafusa... A coluna. Se bater com o martelo, ele vai ouvir. Unscrew the steering column. All right. Just turn. Just turn. One, two, one, two. God. How long are these screws? Okay. Tirou, tirou. Okay. There's a bunch of wires down here. All paired up. Qual o carro? O serial do carro, senhora? Me diz o que você tá vendo. Tell me exactly what you see. Okay. We can do this. There's a red wire, a blue wire, a yellow wire, a, a green wire and a brown wire. Qual o número de série? What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is 576-894-320. Se tiver um zero no fim e não tiver um 3 antes de um 6, repete para mim, por favor. É o último, é o último. É vermelho e amarelo. Tem um 6 em algum lugar. Não começa com 5. Começa com 5. Tem um 4 antes de... Tá, é, 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 é o último. É vermelho e amarelo. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right. We take the red and the yellow and we twist and we turn. Oh, perfect. I also see pink and purple wire. What next? Uh... Calma. Desencapa o fio roxo, não toca no fio. Esfrega o fio roxo contra os fios torcidos no, do passo 3. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. Ok. Nice, deu certo. Fantastic work, baby. Anytime you want to come down to the jazz studio, you get in for free. Ah, ok. Continua dirigindo. Just keep driving now, ok? And get home safe. Get home safe, Sandra. Will do, babies. Safe, salve ela, salve ela. Salvamos uma vida. We sure did. Here comes another hit track that we're ja excited to share with you. And remember, if you're also having car troubles, then tune in to 
Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday to Friday at 5. Take it away, Forrest. <laughs> Great party, man. <laughs> Thanks. Can I grab another beer? Hey, sure thing. Let me grab you one out of the fridge. Oh, no. We're out of beer. No. What am I going to do? The party is going to be over. Play a record, Forrest. Toma esto para hacer propaganda. Free six pack of beer if Gala's High wins this Tuesday. Say what? That's right. Order a meal deal from us and you'll get a free six pack of beer if Gala's High wins. A free six pack? Righteous! You heard me. Six beers if Gala's High wins. Sounds like you've already had put a record on. <laughs> I hope we <laughs> murder them. <laughs> me too, Billy. Me too. Come on down to Grilling Spring. I'll call up 555 749 8335. We've got barbecue you'll die for. Foda. Apresenta a música. Enjoy this classic by Smooth. It's their hit song, The Word. I still can't believe this is happening. <sighs> right? Like Gallows nice. Creek didn't already have enough to worry about? What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? It's nothing personal, Peggy, but it's not Chicago. Or, hell, it's not really anywhere. Well, I like it here. People are polite and, uh... Mas é um bom lugar mesmo. Tem, tem um serial killer que fica matando as pessoas na rua. Agora é um Stab happy? Don't be awful, Forrest. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. Algumas pessoas são gente fina. I guess some folks have been okay. You're not terrible. After a while. Not terrible after a while? High praise coming from Forrest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. I do. It's Forrest Nash for... I think you're swell. Anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night. And that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Can we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Passou 40 minutos. Meia noite 42. Caller on line one. Okay. When you're ready, shut the music off. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16. The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Onde fica isso? Ali. Oi, Brian Ponty da Ponty's Pizza. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say about what's happening? I'm so happy that that deputy Martin. Tá escutando. I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Oh, you did a really great job. And uh, as a thanks for all you did there, I just wanted to tell you that I'm sending you some coupons for free. Oh pizza my god! Here at Ponty's pizza gratis. Pizza. Nice. Wow, Brian. That's really good of you. But you really don't have to though. Marcar de onde ele tá, onde ele tá andando. O cara tá usando o rádio pra fazer propaganda, mano. Tá fazendo propaganda de graça. Yeah, that didn't come out great. I'm sorry, Forrest. I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else of coming on down to Ponty's Pizza. We've got a great special this weekend. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Wow. Wait a minute. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. Verdade. Peggy, hang up on him. Done. Oh. Real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. 
Now, a word from our sponsors. You know how to play a Eu já map, toquei right? duas. Eu já toquei duas. Sure. Eu vou tocar de, vou tocar de novo. Done. Yeah. <laughs> hey Forrest, do you know what the Grill Reaper's favorite grilling spree order is? I have a feeling you're going to tell me. Spare ribs. Uh, just get me back on the air. And we're back. Ah, ele já conseguiu o que eu toquei. Collar. You know what to do. Já foi direto porque eu já tinha tocado. Welcome to the scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs and wait. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? Uh Pode falar comigo. I am 911. Uh, at least for tonight. Cadê? Cadê? Anyway. Aqui, aqui. Damn it, son. I don't care who you are. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? Olha esse cara, mano. I can cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. A gente tá ao vivo. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. All right. There's obviously a lot more going on than I know. Really? Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. <laughs> Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. <laughs> Teens. They get worse ah, yeah. every year. Ah, this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's que eye isso? when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. Verdade. But I was there. I covered it. Okay, okay. Maurice, I don't know what's going on, but he's back. The whistling man is back. Don't be an ass, Nash. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. Como sabe disso? I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Okay, okay. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. Como é que eu vejo isso? You can watch them on any TV set here. There's a set in the boardroom. Você consegue sair daí? Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going Esse to barulho. do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. He's blocking the stairs. Okay. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? Não dá pra gente ver essa, essas câmeras, não? Is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions? So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. Ah... Uh... Você uma entrevista exclusiva com ele? Get an exclusive interview with the killer. Caralho, pode crer. That could be interesting. No, I mean we just make a distraction. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Yeah, sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out. <sighs> you realize how stupid that plan Mas sounds, é um bom plano, right? bom plano. For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. And thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. Espera, ele tem tudo que ele falou. Ok, eu... Espera. Tá mandando fax. A maravilha dos anos 80. You... you don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. Russell. I'm here. The freak's going to be here any second, too. Go check your fax machine. Don't... Eu vou, eu vou, eu vou.
Pero, ¿cómo así? Tell me where the fax machine is again, Peggy. The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Okay. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. ¿Qué estaba haciendo ya? Okay. Go to the office. Estaba firme, Luis. Go to the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. Ah! This must be it. Okay, okay. Ele está nos arquivos, certo? Uh, escritório do diretor, ramal, sala de reunião. Beleza. O ramal é... Pera, o cara... Ele é o editor, certo? Então ele tá no 3. Ele pode ir pra sala de arquivo secreta. Ele bloqueou as escadas. Eu tenho que ligar pro, pro board room, eu acho. Então eu tenho que ligar pro 04. Peguei, peguei. Hey, did you get the fax? Yes, I have. Mr. Russell, you uh you still with us? I am. You get my fax? Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage. Ah, não, pera, ele tá no fax. Okay, folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. Okay. And now he's in the Tá, ele tá no escritório embaixo à direita. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again. We want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number and then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? Mas tá onde tá ele? Se ele tava no, mano, se ele mandou um fax, ele tá no fax, certo? Então ele tá na board room. Certo? Mas o assassino, ele acabou de falar que o assassino passou por ali. Mano, se o cara mandou o fax, o fax é na board room. Não tem como ele estar em outro lugar. Então o cara, tecnicamente, o assassino tá no escritório. Eu preciso mandar ele pros arquivos. Eu vou ligar pros arquivos pro assassino ir lá. Não. Puta que pariu. Porque se o telefone... Eu posso ligar pra, pro escritório do, edi do editor. O assassino tá no escritório do Office Space. Se eu mandar ele pro editor, o cara consegue passar e ir direto pra cozinha. Aí eu mando o assassino pra reunião e ele consegue tirar os, os, os bagulhos. Eu vou mandar ele ligar pro escritório do editor. Mas será que o cara não ligou do, do, do editor, mano? Não dá pra saber onde ele tá. Ele deve estar tá no fax. É a única coisa que faz sentido. Então eu vou. Eu vou mandar ele pro escritório do editor. Call the editor's office. The extension is 03. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? Se a gente liga pro editor e o cara tá na board room, puta que pariu, ele vai cruzar pra cozinha. You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah. That makes sense. Go somewhere he's already. Se bem que eles vão cruzar. Not bad. Tá, espera Nash. um pouco. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Espera um pouco, não vai na hora. Yes, sir. Calling now. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. Okay, okay. It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Ah, uh, don't mention it. The coast is clear. Okay, okay, okay. I'm shutting off the TV. So he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move. Hey, say, boy. I'll call when I get there. Do you think he'll make it okay? I'm sure he'll be fine. But now, what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could. Oh! Calling coming. You ready? Well. 
Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. Ok, ok, deu certo. I don't think he saw então ele, o assassino tá lá em cima. E ele tá na cozinha. Uh, right, let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. I can move the furniture out of the way. But not quickly or quietly. Dá pra trancar ele em algum lugar? Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulation say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait, wait, no, 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 I got it. The secret archive from okay. my office, where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? Você gosta de conspirações? Ah, I didn't know you were into conspiracies, Peggy. I may have borrowed a few tapes from our manager's office. He has quite the collection. Will you two chatterboxes pipe down? Flirtando ao vivo. I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. Ok, ok. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in... Como é que eu boto ele lá dentro? Será que eu ligo nos arquivos? Exactly. Tipo assim, será que eu ligo nos arquivos oh e ele vai checar? Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Uh, uma televisão? Usar um rádio? Usa um rádio e eu toco um telefone aqui. Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? A sports reporter, Hopkins. Glad you got a radio fan there. Does he listen to 189.16, The Scream? Gallows Creek's best and only late night Colin show. Jesus, Nash. I'd expect that level of self advertisement from Brian Ponty, not you. Don't be a Ponty, Forrest. That's low. Oh, look. Will you idiots focus now? His portable radio should still be here. Should be in the archives. Então vai lá, o cara... I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his. Eu vou ligar na sala de reunião. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. Okay, well, no. We're gonna save him, Forrest. Heck, if this works, we might even save the whole town. Porque a gente pode simplesmente botar um rádio dentro da sala de arquivos. Como é que a gente vai passar isso? Ele vai estar na sala de arquivos agora, certo? A gente vai ligar pra cozinha, o cara vai entrar na cozinha, a gente vai. O cara vai entrar no bagulho do, dos arquivos secretos, aí ele vai entrar pra reunião, a gente vai ligar no editor, vai ligar o rádio, vai botar um telefone tocando. We're close. Let's make it happen, Peggy. How can we vai botar o um telefone tocando no I rádio. Mean, e aí ele vai. Steps. A gente vai mandar ele sair correndo. Nash, hello? Nash, are you there? I'm here. Is everything okay? I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming tá together. I'm just going to turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. The radio works. Okay, okay. If I make it out alive. Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Eh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Wait. Ah, oh, god damn it. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead. You just... Oh, that's a good point. But wait! We're the radio. Cara, demorou. Would you just be quiet until you're ready? Eh, if you can do that, then... Yeah, sure. 189.16. 
Now, even when I know something for a fact, I like to double check. But after your earlier self advertisement, Nash, I don't think that's necessary. I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Okay, okay. Now, I just need to. O cara tá no escritório, supostamente. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Vai pra cozinha. Call the kitchen. The extension is 02. That could work. The kitchen is far away from the editor's office, but the killer searched it before. Are you sure? Ele já procurou em todos os lugares. Ele já, ele já procurou em todos os lugares. Let me have a think again. Na sala, ele já procurou a sala de reunião, os arquivos. Ele já procurou em todos. Pera, talvez ele não. Ah, não, ele tava indo em, em direção à sala de reunião. Mas é longe do. Mano, mas é longe. Ai, é do ladinho do bagulho de editor, velho. Foda-se. Call the boardroom. The extension is 04. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office. But we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? É pura sorte, mano. É, não tem como saber, é pura sorte. O único que não pode é os arquivos, porque o cara tá nos arquivos. Vambora. I'm sure. Make the call. Ok. Calling the boardroom now. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? Vou chamar o assassino de babacão. I'll just call. The whistling man a jackass. That'll get his attention. That's the plan, right? <laughs> sure is. Ooh, call coming in. Here we go. I'm here. The radio set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I am. Uh, good question. It's under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. I've got a big cabinet, but. Uh, That'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but that's where the kill is going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Your judgment has kept me alive. Se eu tivesse so colocado essa cena na cozinha, ele teria como se esconder na sala de reunião. Vai ter que ser o armário, mano. É o que faz mais sentido. Porque se o cara entrar na sala secreta, ele sai do armário e fecha a porta. É, é... Se ele for pra outra sala, não chega a tempo nem fudendo. Hide in your cabinet. All right. Well, this is it. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. Hey, whistling man. Jackass. Forrest, I don't think that was enough time for him to hide. Wait, really? Oh, shit. I'm what I want. You son of a bitch! I told you to. Forrest, he's. He's. Mano, eu não entendi. Eu não tava entendendo o que tava acontecendo. Eu achei que o cara já tava lá. E ele tava checando o armário. Aí eu chamei ele pra ele não checar o armário. Porque caralho, eu ia estar tá ouvindo o mano chegar se ele não tava lá ainda. Bom, foda-se, morreu. Dead. <sighs> Let's put on a song. Give us some time to recover. I think that would be for the best, Peggy. <sighs> Folks, we'll be back soon. If you have any stories about Maurice that you'd like to share, give us a call after this next track. Tô triste. Matei o velho. Mano, na minha cabeça o cara tava chegando no bagulho do editor. O armário tava entrando no armário. Ou ele já tava no armário, certo? Aí eu pensei, pô, se o cara tá chegando no lugar, ele vai checar primeiro os armários. Dead air is a crime, Forrest. E depois vai pro escritório. Mas se eu já chamar ele agora, porra, a minha lógica fazia sentido. Era realmente, mano, esse, esse não fazia. Não, não tinha muito o que fazer. 
Ah, posso botar isso aqui, legal. Come on, Forrest, put some music on already. Now it's time to go with the flow. O cara acabou de morrer. And this is their hit, crying for help. Well, this is gonna be a long night. Oh, really? I feel like it's going pretty quickly to me. I could ask you some questions to speed things along. You're gonna interview me. You sure about that? You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. All right. Shoot, what do you want to know? Question one. Tell me about your family. What? Come on, Peggy, that's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. Now that's too specific. Too specific? I... Do you have any siblings? I don't. I'm an only child and my folks are dead. Oh, I'm sorry, Forrest. It's okay, Peggy. That's how it goes. Anyway, what about you? Chaves e discos obtidos. Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. You were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. Oh. What happened there? My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck, and, well, that was Dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget Dad so bad, she even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day, and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be... It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. Why don't Really? I think someone needs why a Why don't? Maybe. You want to go check it out? Me? You sure you don't want to go? No way. I'm locked up tight in here. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Okay. Down to the first floor, then check the door. That's not opening. Tá, eu tô eu tô com a chave pro segundo andar. Ah, deve ser aqui a escada, né? Caralho, que zica! O que tem aqui? Tem um homem, tem um mapa, tem um foguetinho. Ok. Tem como ir pro terraço? Não. Ok. Deixa o rádio tocando aí. A tape play on air. Uma fita secreta. Ok. Pera aí. Mano, tem muita cafeteira. Ah. Revista de fofoca. Bárbara, eu não sei como. Dizer isso, mas eu acho que a gente devia ver outras pessoas. Eu espero que a gente continue amigos, Brad. E você me deve 5 dólares dos ingressos do festival. Caralho. Que isso? Caralho. O labirinto de milho. Ok, bom saber, bom saber ter isso. I need a key to get in there. Ok, não tem nada lá dentro. Vou subir lá e ouvir a fita então.
Nenhum disco novo parece. Oi, voltei, hein? Vou deixar isso aqui. Vou tocar essa fita. Who was there? I didn't see who it was. Are they still out there? No. They left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette through the door. It says, play me on air. All right. Well, turn the music off and play it. Vou tocar direto, foda-se. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for lies. Time to. O cara usou minha voz. I will punish you. I'm gonna enjoy this. I did not enjoy that. What the hell was that? I. Oh, Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. Parece a pior rádio do mundo. That uh, uh, <clears throat> wasn't the ad tape we meant to play. Sorry, folks. It won't happen again. There's no way the killer got from the newspaper to here so quick. I know. Tem mais de um. Uma da manhã. Mano, o cara tava assassinando pessoas e editando fitas ao mesmo tempo. Thank you again, Mrs. McKenzie, for the helpful tip. The bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. We'll remove her from the suspect list. Let's go to a break. Nice. I need you for a second. Agora só falta right, 99 folks. pessoas. We need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks e o velho que morreu, 998. Keeping the hatch is battened. Da David Scope. Vai. It's David Scopo with Moonlight. Nice. Okay. All okay. right, Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. You stopped the show for a tape? Just go get it. Mano, pior que o Kiki. Pega aqui, que tá escrito. Me escute fora do ar. Tá bom. Abaixei o volume. All right, I've got it. Did we forget an ad or something? I don't know. It was buried in my work camp. I only just saw it. See what it says. Uh, play me ASAP. Off air. That's Reggie's handwriting. And he wrote it in purple. And? Purple is Reggie's angry color. He only writes in purple when he's really pissed off. an angry color. Oh, Forrest, I'll give you the Reggie rundown later. Right now, we need to play that tape. Eu tirei o volume, eu não sei se isso aqui é o volume da rádio ou o que eu escuto. Tem algum tocador de vida que não seja da rádio? Eu sei que eu tô ao vivo. Vou dar play, foda-se. My God, are there any professionals at KFAM? This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you never had and probably never will again and we've still not received any information about when you're That's fitting thing into major. your busy programming i'll be frank i didn't want you as part of this debut but mr snatcher due to his prior friendship with mr nash prior and current friendship gina forest knight you all right 
Don't worry about Gina, you know how she is. But yeah, can't wait for you to hear the new single, man. I think Final Breath is my best work yet. I really hope you and your listeners like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. If Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next call will be much friendly. Ah, How was tenho... Roddy Snatcher, Forrest? You know, Roddy Snatcher? Yeah, Roddy and I are old friends. Oh, I love Roddy. I Will Always Find You was my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. Oh my god, I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. And I can't believe you didn't tell me dele. he sent you his new eu quero ver a single. Dele. We have to play Final Breath. Where is it? I don't know. They mailed it to K-Fan, not to me. Deve estar no depósito. Then it's gotta be downstairs at reception. Man, I can't believe Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well, if that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication, folks at K-Fan aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. Okay. Tem algum disco em algum lugar aqui. O disco do Rod Nets. Pera, guirem pra cá. Uh, caralho. Bom trabalho no novo trabalho. Uh, Jane. Eu tenho tanto orgulho de você, mamãe. Ah, nice. Ex me again. X3. A decapitação final. Isso. Alone. Se tiver alguma senha específica, deve ser Alone, porque tem as telhas cozinhas ali em cima. Rock and Roll. Jimmy ama Jane. Jimmy. Quem que é Jimmy? Atemorizante. Ah. Foi essa, cara? Que susto! Atenção equipe, por favor, parem de colocar os adesivos é, na, na mobília da, do escritório. Você vai diminuir o preço de revenda. Ok, teste de amizade da Ginny e da Carrie. Quem escalaria o Monte Everest? O David gostoso, o Kyle ou o Heather? O Heather ganhou. Quem ganharia o melhor prêmio de não sabe fingir? Cynthia. Quem iria para cadeia? O Set. Quem vai para prisão? A Jennifer. Quem vai virar um atleta olímpico? O David e o Heather. E Viri. Ah, tem a parte 2. Quem passaria sem erros nessa direção é o Jimmy. A Lisa e a Tammy ganhariam um Oscar. Nada sobre a Penny aqui, nem sobre mim. Needs a key. You take it answer. Uh que isso. Ok. Gallows Creek Hack vence o jogão. 28 a 20. Vamos ver se vai ser útil isso depois. Conheço o condomínio Woodside. Apartamentos luxuosos. A partir de 300 mil. Ok. Em piscina, cozinha, dois ou três quartos. A Barbie terminou com o namorado dela, que é o Brad, eu acho. É isso. Aqui! Isso must be it. Final breath. My tiny selection grows. Achei o disco. A gente pode subir. Algo escrito na mesa? Não dá pra ler. A gente segue pra cá. Eu vou levar isso aqui pra... porque pode ser útil depois. Hey, 
Did you get it? Got it. Let's get this on the air. Ah! Gallows Creek. I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Up next, courtesy of the British sensation himself, is a track you won't hear everywhere. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. Wow. God, Roddy's the best. He is. And more importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. Duas da manhã e três minutos. Não. And I think that's every time I've seen him live. Peggy, we just talked through the whole song. Oh, whoops. It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Oh shoot! I just noticed we have a caller waiting. I really hope it's nothing serious. Okay. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. This is Murphy! Okay, Murphy. <laughs> Hello, Murphy. Uh, what have you got for us tonight? Two things, Forrest. First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. He's free today. And man, being his daddy has changed my life. I've learned how to live, how to laugh, most importantly, how to love. Okay. Aw, happy birthday, Fernando. Uh, birthday, Fernando. Happy birthday, Fernando. Thanks. And now, my other thing. I'm putting the word out to this so-called... Ih, vai, ma vai mandar o papo. You think you're vai tough, desafiar. Huh? Big man with a big knife, huh? Prove it. Come face me. A true warrior at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. Guess what? Uh, é uma péssima ideia, Murphy. This is a bad idea, Murphy. I got all the tapes in Master Robbins Dojo series. Whoa! Oh! So Porra, não, ele é bom, ele é bom, ele, ele, ele é bom, ele é bom, ele é bom. You just let loose. The ele fez a aula do, do mestre marcial. <risos> Que que é isso, Roy? Oh no. And there he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become our hometown hero. Anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. Okay. É o foolish também pode ser. Ah, comercial, comercial. Eu vou estar do Ted pro prefeito. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man, a devout Christian, and a proud patriot. Okay, okay. Teddy Gallows Jr. Ah, is yeah. Gallows Creek. Like his father and all his fathers before him, Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs, improve infrastructure, and make Gallows Creek a good place to raise a family. Unlike current mayor Linda Cartwright, Teddy Gallows Jr. Oh, lives is. in Gallows Creek. He's our neighbor. And he stands with our neighbors, like Sheriff Matthews, who, after years of keeping the peace, Mayor Cartwright is trying to force into early retirement. Teddy Gallows Jr. doesn't believe in keeping a good man out of a job. Teddy Gallows Jr. believes in the American dream. Does Linda Cartwright? Help Teddy Gallows Jr. keep Gallows Creek a good American town. Help him become mayor. Take a swing. For Gallows Creek, vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. My name is Teddy Gallows Jr. And I approve this message. O, o na, na God, what a jackass. 100% grade A asshole. Linda Cartwright isn't super herself, but she's not... Yeah, we don't have any more of those ads to air tonight, do we? No, just the one. Good. I have to ask, though. Take a swing for Gallows Creek? Oh, he set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. Uh, of course he's one of those guys. Yep, he played lots of sports back in the day, and he never lets anyone forget it. Right. Let's just get hmm. back to the show. O... Well, folks, here that reminds me that every vote matters. That ad really made sports. me want to take a swing at Teddy Gallows. You mean take a swing for Teddy Gallows? Yeah, sure. 
Let's find out from our next caller who's got their vote. We got a caller. You know what to do. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Okay. <sighs> Hello? Who is this? Lá vamos nós de novo. Are you okay? Do you need help? Forrest? He called me? That horrible whistling down the phone. He's coming for me? Jesus. Okay, listen, Collar, don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. A few times already? So... Salvei! You Sal saved them, or...? Salvei... Claro, salvei todos. Sure. Okay. Okay. We're gonna help you. Can you tell me your name, Collar? I'm Dr. Sullivan of Virginia. Sorry. Virginia Take some Sullivan. deep breaths, Virginia. You're gonna be okay. Please don't let me die. I won't. Just calm down. Tell me where you are right now. What's your address? I'm... I'm... Oh, God. You fui. Maybe you can hide in your house? Is there a neighbor you can call for help? No. Everyone's away tonight. Onde ela mora? There's just a fraternity down the street. Fraternidade do Vila Rua. Frat house. Yes. They're having a party. That takeout coming in all night. Fun covered in beer cans. They're getting wasted. And I'm about to get... Oh, God. Virginia, what's the name of the frat? Any idea what the frat might be, Peggy? If I knew where she was, I might know, but... Wait, the takeout! If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go Okay, and okay, okay, okay. Virginia, who did they order pizza, takeout pizza, from? Pizza, pizza, pizza. I don't know. Pizza do Ponte. Come on, Virginia. Try to remember. I can't do this. Puta que pariu. Eu devia ter pedido well, pra calma. Seems like our Virginia hung up. While we try to figure out what takeout to order, here's some music for your own midnight snacks. Peggy, what places do takeout in Gallows Creek? Off the top of my head? Uh, well... There's the barbecue place, Grilling Spree, you and you can order from Chalupa Cabras. Oh, and of course we have Ponte's Pizza. That's it, I think. All right. We'll call each place and ask who they deliver to tonight. That's not going to work. Take out client privilege. Verdade. What? There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. It's a long story. But what we can do is this. We figure out where the frat boys ordered from, call the takeout pretending to be from the frat, place an order, and include a note asking them to call the station. <sighs> There's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. Well, let's not waste any time then. That's the spirit. You got any suggestions on where to look? Check the offices for anything food related. Tá, já and maybe the kitchen downstairs. Pera, You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. Eu vi o bagulho do chalupa cabras lá, o cara passou mal. God, where to start? What would make me order from somewhere if I were a party pizza. frat boy? Com certeza pizza. We have a food critic, right? Chad or Brad or... Uh... <sighs> I just have to look around. Go Gallows High, I guess. Tá, o jogo de... Chalupa Cabra. Hmm. Ó, os sabores da Chalupa Cabra são os melhores da cidade. O melhor é o burrito e o caralho. E aí tem esse lugar aqui que fala sobre Maybe if I find the pizza box. Ah, o Pontes Pizza, que é uma pizza medíocre. Puta, o cara tinha me falado o número mais cedo, eu esqueci. Mano, os adolescentes com certeza pediram pizza com promoção na festa, mano. Os caras não pediu o burrito caro.
A cozinha aqui atrás? É. Caralho, esse lugar é enorme. Tem uma área de serviço, produtos de limpeza. Uma vassoura que você precisa passar um paninho. Aí, cafeteria. Mano, esse lugar é enorme, caralho! Liga a rádio. O jogo é muito bom. Tô adorando esse jogo. Pegar uma cervejinha, não? Globo, 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 globo. Várias canecas, cafezinho, leite. Pra cá. Um flipper! Cage Tiger. Ah, não acredito que tá quebrado, porra. Eu queria jogar um flipperzinho. Uh, uma fita. O que tem aqui? Tá quebrada. Puta que pariu, tá tudo quebrado. Tem alguma uma caixa de pizza em algum lugar? Nenhuma caixa de pizza, não. Aqui, aqui. Trash. This is a new low. Uh. Cerveja é grátis com offer. pizza. Uma cerveja grátis em cada pedido, pra cada ponto que o Gallows High fizer de diferença no jogão de terça. Qual que é a diferença mesmo? Acho que era 8 pontos. Era 28 a 20. Então, é... Oito cervejas grátis. Por... Caralho, mano. Oito cervejas grátis por pedido. O cara vai falir. Meu mano Pontes tá prestes a falir. E yeah. aí? Hey, find anything useful? Yes, I have. That's great. Are you ready to get back on the line? Let's make the call. Time to turn the music off. Okay, oh, Forrest, boy. what'll it be? Ponte's Pizza. Call Ponte's Pizza. You got it. Ponte's Pizza is on the line. Pontes Pizza! E aí, Ponte? May I take your order? Eu sou universitário! Fratman calling! We are in major need of foods for dudes! Uh, may I take your order? Peraí. Uh, eles estão fazendo pão de alho. Pão de alho é rapidinho, pão de alho é rapidinho. Porque a pizza assada demora três horas. I need some garlic bread. I need the bread. Where do you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know. The frat house. Got it. Now we'll have that over to you right away. Oh, and, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? KFAM? Oh, consider it done. The folks at K Farm are huge fans of Ponty's Pizza, you know. I should really call them and let them know. And now we wait. We should put a song on. Agreed. This one goes out to our delivery workers. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. Ô, oh, cabra, a música. Which of the takeout places would you order from? To save Virginia? No, what where would you actually eat? Oh. Chalupa cabras. I mean, they're all pretty equal. Sure, but if you had to pick one. All right, all right. Not Ponty. 
He's not Ponty. Right. So between grilling spree and chalupa coppers. I mean, it depends. Do I want a plate full of meat? Or do I want really, really good nachos? It can change depending on the day, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, maybe I... Hold that thought, Forrest. We've got a call coming in. Oh, what is... Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Okay, okay. <laughs> hey, 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 this is Fred Man Bunker. We got some calling, Fred, and I hope to call this number. <laughs> yes. Bunker, this is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. And... Is this Goose? <laughs> oh, man. It's totally you, isn't it, Goose? <laughs> this is such a Goose prank. É o ganso pra caralho. Porque eu vou falar, mano, eu perdi o endereço, manda aí de novo. Sure, whatever, it's Goose. Now, listen, I... Goose, dude, get your ass to the party. We got so much beer! Listen, I need you to... Goose, come get beer. Your brothers are waiting for you. I'm not Goose. I. Uh, how can I prove this to you? Oh, let me get a second opinion on this. Norman the Barbarian! What do you think? think? <laughs> Great idea. Norman the Barbarian says only the radio man so, play us the flow. Wait, really? What? The flow? Norman the Barbarian demands it. Okay, okay. I'll play the damn song. Tem outra coisa pro cara ouvir. O cara vai querer ouvir o flow. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, Radio Man. Got my attention. What is it? Thank God. Listen, you've got to get over to your neighbor's house. All of you, just say no more. Bunker's moving the house. Forest, line two. Hello, you're live on 189.16, the stream. Forest, it's the killer. He's at the door. Puta que pariu. Oh my God. Senhor, onde você mora, caralho? Mano, se ela for uma médica, ela deve morar... Salvei ela com os gostosos da You're welcome, Virginia. And thank you to Plunker and his fraternity brothers. Some heroes wear capes. Some wear sheets as togas. Onde que eles estavam, mano? Nunca vamos saber. Hey, Forrest. Did you hear what Virginia said earlier? What was that all about? Clive, I didn't talk. Do you know what she meant? There's a janitor here at the station named Clive. But your guess is as good as mine. All right, folks. Seems we may have a lead. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. It could save lives. In the meantime, looks like we have another caller. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. As a local small business owner, oh, I find this all I know, I, I, I a killer roaming the streets of our fair town. Empresa pequena. I hear you there. It's a scary time for everyone in Gallows Creek. How are you holding up? You somewhere safe tonight? <laughs> yes, Forrest, I <laughs> am. I'm here at work in my small business. It's a safe, family-friendly place. Qual que é o lugar? Qual pequena empresa? Oh, what small business do you own? I'm not really big on promotion, but uh, since you ask, it's Ponty's Pizza! The best and only pizza place in town! Come on down and get yourself a cracking deal on our two for one. God damn it, Ponty, no! No free ads! 
Ugh, I mean, I guess we can't be that mad at him. Colin Pontes did say Virginia. Very I nice. can be mad, Peggy. That sort of thing just... Uh, I can be mad. Look, he's gone now. We already have somebody else on the line. Just take a deep breath and let's keep going. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. Hi. Hello? Am I on air? Eugene. Sure, are, caller. What's your name? And what have you got for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein. And I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. I'm hanging out in the middle of the maze maze, listening to your show. Looking up at the stars and waiting for Labirinto her. de milho de novo. You got a special lady coming out to see you. Yeah. Mais uma vez, labirinto de milho. Molly. Que SMP, você me paga. We planned to get lost in the maze maze tonight. To take our first journey together into the love labyrinth. Okay. That's why I'm calling, actually. I, I thought she'd be here an hour ago. And since I've listened all night to how cool you play it, I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. Okay, okay, perfect. Should I call her up and ask if she's coming or wait and see? For real, kid? If you've been listening all night, do you really need to ask me? Both yes, guys. that's why I'm calling. Bingo, here's what I was looking for. Você vai pra casa e fica com seus pais, moleque. Eugene, you really need to go home to your parents. My parents are dead, actually. But, uh. Actually. Oh, jeez. Yeah. I guess it's not the night. Hang on. I hear some rustling. Ah, loving. I guess she came after all. It'll be over on Sophie. I'm in the middle! Sophie. It'll take a little while to get here, but, uh. Get it done on me. Thanks again, Forrest. It's been good talking. Oh, wait a second. Molly can't listen. Menos um suspeito. No, no, this is supposed to be the best night of my life. Not the worst. Stop saying, eh? Eugene, do you know the way out? It wouldn't be the maze maze if he could just remember the way, Forrest. Verdade. She's right. I... Listen, Eugene, breathe, hide, and call back in a minute. We'll get you out. I... <laughs> I'll do it for Molly. But please, hurry. Não vou deixar mais ninguém morrer. Well, listeners, while Peggy and I deliberate, here's a track for all you lovers out there. Acho que eu já ouvi todas, né? Vou botar essa. How the hell am I supposed to get in through the maze maze? You know Barbara, our receptionist? She's a maze maze fanatic. Eu já peguei já. Shame she isn't here. I was supposed to go with her last week, but she changed her mind. Why'd she change her mind? She went with that jerk Brad instead. Does everyone in Gallows Creek go on dates in the maze maze? A lot of folks do. There's something nice about getting lost, I guess. And besides, there's not much else to do here. Maybe we should call Barbara then? If she's so big on the maze maze. We could, but I don't actually know her number. But she probably has Maze Maze stuff somewhere. Go and see what you can find. Já tá aqui, That'll querido. hopefully be enough. Uh, which one is Barbara again? Barbara, you know, Barbara. Uh... Forrest, I've seen you speak to her. Help me out, Peggy. She's the receptionist. Sits at reception. Never does any work because she's talking to Brad Já all day. Ring any bells? Right, yeah. Sorry, I guess it's just the stress of... No excuses. Just go and find something to help us. Any luck? Yeah, I found a map for the maze maze in the trash. Why was it in the trash? But never mind, it doesn't matter right Porque now. Com Brad. That's a question for Barbara later. Eugene called while you were away. He's on line one. When you're ready, shut the music off. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. I hope you lovers like that track. And I hope we can help our lover in the maze maze. Eugene, you're back on air. Yay, parça. <sighs> I'm lost, Forrest. Puta que pariu. I just ran and I, I don't know where I am. I'm at a crossroad. Facing a tractor 
Emperor statue. Okay. There are eight bales painted gold on my right. Ok, tá, eu sei onde ele tá. Como é que ele sai daqui? Como é que sai? É pra cima, então ele tem que ir pra esquerda. Ele tá indo pra esquerda. Ele vai virar à esquerda. Ok, ok. Aí foi pra direita. Tá, ele subiu. Tá, a estátua tá em cima e. Pera, o quê? Tá, ele tá olhando pra direita. Então agora ele tem que ir pra trás. Go backwards. Tá. Which way? Agora ele tem que ir pra... Puta que pariu! Ele tem que ir pra esquerda. Nossa, fudeu. Tem que ir pra esquerda. Go Tá, então ele tá entre... Ok, se não tem nada do lado dele, então ele não tá no set Então ele tem que ir... Uh, pera, o que que tá na frente dele? Um celeiro na frente, um celeiro O celeiro na frente é oito Então ele tá olhando pra baixo Se ele tá olhando pra baixo, ele tem que ir pra direita dele Go right Tamo quase, tamo quase I just passed a cordon silo. Tá. Didn't see anything else. Ele acabou de passar. Please. Where do I go? Ele passou por um silo de milho e não viu nada no caminho. Então ele foi pela pela direita, certo? Ele passou pelo silo, ele tá ali na no Ok, se ele passou, ele tá olhando pra baixo, então ele tem que ir pra direita de novo. Go right. E ele vai estar tá livre. Aí. my breath the whole time. I think it went pretty well, all told. <laughs> I think you're right. By the way, why do you think Molly missed their date? Do you think she's okay? Unfortunately for Eugene, I think she probably never left home. Tadinho, meu parceiro Eugene. 1:49. And thank you for calling in, Mr. Walton. We'll make sure to add the town librarian to our list of suspicious Clives. Remember, report a Clive to stay alive. Next caller is up for us, so take it away. Caller, you're through to Forrest Nash on 189.16, The Scream. Hey, wonderful show tonight, Forrest. I don't know about wonderful, but uh, thanks. What's your name, Collar? Uh, you can call me Don. Could you play my tune, Forrest? Your tune? Sure. Long Ride Home. That old song? Sure. We got it. I think I played it the other day. Thanks. It'll be good to hear it again. All right, folks. Coming up is that old classic. Uh, Forrest, I don't think you're gonna find that song. What, What do you mean? I played it a few nights ago. I know, but... Uh, we don't have it anymore. What are you talking about? I threw it away. You threw it in the trash? Porque? No, I... Uh, I threw it out the window earlier today. Uh, and why did you throw it out the window earlier today? 
Brad was annoying me all afternoon. He played it on repeat because he knows I don't like it. So I grabbed it and threw it right out of one of the office windows. Not my finest hour, but I can only take so much. Lá fora. All right. So, uh, what do we do instead then? Let's just no. play a different song. We've got more important things to think about anyway. Gotcha. Okay, folks. Ela tá triste. Ela tá triste. Ela claramente está triste. Sorry about that, Don. Maybe try again tomorrow night. Sorry. Eu vou lá pegar fodas. Hmm. What song should I play? Eu não vou apresentar a música, tadinha. Of all the songs to request, why did it have to be that one? Gee, Peggy, what did the barn finds ever do to you? Wrote that song for one. It gets real old when you're forced to listen to it on repeat for years. <sighs> why couldn't they just request Roddy? Oh, Forrest, scrap the song. We have another caller. Sorry to cut the music short, folks. Callers take priority tonight. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nad. Forrest? King of Murphy. Oh, thank God. I hope I'll take... No, better. Murphy! Ah, é o cara que foi tentar pintar o maluco lá. Talk to me, Murphy. What's wrong? Ele tava aqui em cima. Oh, the killer got me, man. I... Uh, why did I ever trust a guy named Master Robin? Porra, mas tem uns cinco... I warned you, Tem uns cinco I posições dos animais... Okay? A pose do Forrest, escorpião. we need to do something. Goddamn piece of... He came for the gallows waste disposal plan. Beat on me, man. Ué, mas ele não te matou? Hold on, Murphy. We'll call for help right now. You gotta hurry, man. I need someone here now, or I'm gonna die. Nossa, os bombeiros estão na puta que pariu. Eles estão aqui embaixo. Tem que atravessar a cidade. Come on. Pera, tem uma, tem uma rua que tá interditada. Uh, Rogers Avenue, Haddonfield Hall Road. Rogers Avenue, Haddonfield Road. He... Oh, God damn it! Forrest, that evil son of a bitch slashed the tires on the town's only fire engine. They can't do anything. I have a few friends who live nearby. Maybe one of them can save Murphy. Where do they live? My friend Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield and Romero Street. And Catherine lives on the west end of Myers Lane. And there's Jericho on the east end of Myers Lane. But he's old. Really old. Okay, I'll check the map, see who would be best to do this. Moça, pera, me... qual que era os lugar? Puta que pariu. Me repete aí? All right, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? Mano, cadê? Eu preciso descobrir. Cadê? Haddonfield Road. Ó. O lado leste da McReady Street será fe ficará fechado do dia 2 até o dia 9. Então, peraí. O lado leste da McReady Street. Então eu vou marcar aqui, o lado leste da McReady Street, esse lado aqui. Não está funcionando, certo? Tá fechado, do dia 2 ao dia 8, a gente está no dia 3. Opa, peraí, o que é isso? Ah, tá aqui, tá aqui, tá aqui. Ok, o Alex mora na esquina da Haddonfield, ao lado da Romero. É 
Essa é a Romero, cadê a Radonfield? Deve fazer esquina. Ok, a Radonfield tá aqui em cima, é essa. Então o cara mora aqui, ele mora do lado. Esse Alex mora do lado, certo? Mas ele não conseguiria passar pela Mac Ready, porque tá fechado. Eu vou marcar, o, vou marcar, ó, o número 1 um é ele, certo? Ele mora aqui. Beleza. O número 2. A Catherine mora no extremo oeste da Myers Lane. Myers Lane é essa aqui em cima, ela mora aqui. Ela conseguiria chegar de boa, porque ela não tem que passar pela McReady Street aqui. O velho mora do, ao leste da Myers Lane. Ele mora literalmente, mano, do ladinho do bagulho. Mas ele é velho. E o 4 é o departamento de, de bombeiros que está do outro lado da, rua, da, da cidade. Então... Eu acho que não vale a pena arriscar ligar pro velho. A gente tem que marcar o, o D aqui. Porque eu, eu, tô, eu tô tentando marcar os lugares onde o assassino foi. Ah, pera. O, o, o outro lugar, na real, é, é o lugar do milho. Onde é que é o lugar do milho? É ali. E agora ele foi pro topo aqui. Eu acho que a melhor é a Catherine, que mora aqui, ela consegue atravessar a rua e chegar lá e não tem nenhum bloqueio. Porque esse, essa pessoa não vai conseguir subir, então vai ser a Catherine mesmo. Ela é a que mora mais longe. Porque se o, a gente mandar o um Alex e ele de subir, entrar por aqui e entrar no Deerfall Welcome Center, ele vai ter que passar pelo meio da floresta pra chegar no cara. Eu não sei se é garantido. A gente vai ter que ir de Catherine. Call Catherine. All right, give me a second. They're on the way. They'll call from the plant. You can direct them from there. Well, let's hope they get there in time. Porque ela é mais longe, mano. Call coming in. It's Catherine. She okay. and Murphy are now both on the line. Hello, Catherine. Are you there? What, uh, what, what's happening at the plant? Oh, that thing is up in smoke. I... Oh, God damn it. I'm going in. <gasps> oh, my reception is terrible in here. God, my eyes stink. Yeah. Huh? Go to waste disposal. Got it. Okay, I'm here. I. Oh, Forest. Coming down. I gotta go. Eu perdi, eu perdi. Mano. Eu não entendi o que eu tava. Eu achei que eu tinha que falar o nome do lugar pra ela, velho. É o Ludiscarte Resíduo. I will. What is it? Sentido nenhum. Fernando is gonna be crushed. Yeah, Fernando will be crushed. Just like his dad. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> poor kid. Forrest, that I wasn't trying to set you up for a punchline. No, I know. Ugh, Murphy. 
I promise we will stop this. Mano, esse para mim you. foi o que menos fez sentido. Ele literalmente me deu opções de diálogo que eu não entendi. Eu nem sabia o que estava acontecendo. And for Fernando. Eu, eu pensei, ah, ela It's tá chegando no lugar. Forest, eu falei o nome do lugar. Porque era onde ele falou que ele tava. Welcome to 189.16 The Scream with me your host, Forrest Nash. Forrest Teddy Gallows Jr. Gallows, não vai dar, ele acabou de salvar. Ah. God, Murphy. Poor Fernando is gonna be crushed. Dava, deu para entender que era para perguntar do cheiro. É verdade, nossa, ele ia falar, estou sentindo cheiro de fumaça. Que grande coisa que ia me, me dar. <risos> Talvez tenha sido porque ela era mais longe. Mano, tem alguns puzzles que são legais e tem outros que não fazem o menor sentido. É pura sorte. Esse é da Catherine, era pura sorte. Se, se escolher a Catherine era errado, era pura sorte. Porque para mim era a única que fazia sentido. O cara velho não ia chegar a tempo, ele era muito velho. E ia, provavelmente ia morrer. A... Uh... Esse cara tava com a rua bloqueada pra chegar lá. Só fazia sentido ser ela. Jeez. That's no way for anyone to die. Terrible way to go. Yeah, Murphy. I promise we will stop this. For you and for Fernando. Peggy. It's gonna be our. Forrest, we have another caller. Let's not waste time. Ok, vamos lá. Leste fica na esquerda e não na direita. Vou deixar você pensar sobre isso. We have a call waiting. Welcome to 189.16 The Scream with me, your host, Forrest Nash. Forrest, Teddy Gallows Jr. here. I just want to say that my thoughts and prayers are with my Gallows Creek neighbors during this awful time. Oh, it's mayoral candidate and scion of the town founders, Mr. Gallows. Are you in danger? We need to be a town of law and order. We need cops who have the tools and funding they need to keep us safe. Okay, Teddy. We... I know you're an outsider to our little town here, Forrest. But you're really stepping up to bat for us all tonight. I just want to say thank you for taking a swing for Gallows Creek. Jackass. Ok. Uh, right. Thanks, Teddy. Now, are you... Teddy, you lowlife! This is not the time to promote your damn campaign! I just want to make sure our town is safe and prosperous. That's why the Gallows Family Factory, founded by my father, Theodore C. Gallows, God rest his soul, which employs over 200 Teddy, unless you've got an emergency, I'm cutting you off. Deve ser essa aqui, né? You know what? I do have a problem. A problem that's ruining our town. You know what it is? Uh... Your family waste plant just burned down, so now we have nowhere to dump our garbage? The problem... Is that woman, our current mayor, Linda Cartwright. Oh, here we go. She just isn't one of us. Linda Cartwright is un-American, unstable, and... You're not better than anyone, Teddy. Just because you inherited half the town, it... Your producer sounds a little unstable, too. Don't you dare speak to me that way. Cut him off, Peggy. I can guarantee this kind of thing will not happen when I take office. The moral decay of... And okay. that's enough of Teddy Gallows Jr. for one lifetime. I always feel disgusting after hearing him talk. Just play an ad for us? I need a minute. We'll be right back after these messages. I don't want to put the propaganda on him. Uh, what is this? Oh, eu vou dar pro programa. Não, isso aqui eu já toquei. Eu já toquei todas, na real, né? Tanto faz. Vou tocar a pro... a programa do mestre do Hobby de novo. Do you seek ancient wisdom? Do you want to double your power? Are you ready to unlock your inner warrior for only 24.99? 
Then, step into Master Robbie's deadly dojo of Kung Rate and receive direct by video warrior instructions. The world famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival is back! We got it all out on Giblet Field. We got the Little Miss Harvest Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, Harvest Queen Pageant, Cotton Candy, Corn Dogs, Cornhole, Corn on the Cob, Crokinole, Country Music, Can Jam, Jams, Jellies, Jamborees, Juggling, Jill Roller Gatches. Rickies, Roller Disco Lessons. Praying. We got baby crawling, balloon popping, balloons for sale, beard contest, horseshoes, hay ride, hay toss, hey you there, safe dog chasing ponies, apple bobbing, firearms, fireworks, funnel cakes, fried gold sheets, mitten stand, licking, tractor cramming, and cat shop. And fake tattoo, face paint, puppet, petting zoo, amazing maze, maze, square dance, story swapping, spelling bee, clipping bee, and sewing circle. Eating lawnmower racing, hot dog eating contest, flower contest, oh, and of course our famous gourd measure off. This was brought to you by Mayor Linda Cartwright, sponsored by Gallows and Sons Factory, and dedicated to the memory of Garrett Hunt. Programa médio do SBT. Tô triste que eu deixei aquele cara morrer, mano. I can see why it's world famous. Me senti burro. It's a highlight around here, Forrest. Oh, não tava inteirando os diálogos. Sorry to hear that, Peggy. All right, folks, welcome back to the show. We have a note from my producer. That's right. Come find me at the Harvest Festival tomorrow to grab your choice of a KFAM mug, sticker set, or poster. Let's see what our next caller would choose. Caller on line one. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Ah, vamos nós. Hello, caller. Who is this? I need the police. I'm Forrest Nash. I, <clears throat> I'm standing in for 911 tonight. What, what's wrong? There's a guy hunting me and my friends. I. Okay. I think he's killed some of them already. That's him. He's just outside. I can see him from up here. God damn it! He's just a kid. Uh, one second. Where are you? Are, are you somewhere safe? Oh my god, oh my god! Well, stay with me, kid. Focus. I, I can't do this! Yes, you can. Focus. Tell me, what's your name? Sweetie, you can do it. What's your name? <clears throat> Carrie. Good, good. Carrie, listen to me. We're gonna get you out of there, all right? Now, where are you? The old murder house. Upstairs. I'm at the end of a hall. There's, there's a bathroom, like a entrance closet. Oh, he's coming. Where should I go? Murder house? What? Que que é uma murder house? Onde fica isso? Onde fica isso? Tem tempo? Não tem tempo. Ah. Uh... The old murder house. Será que é onde o cara foi pego? Acho que não. Mano, a única coisa que, que tem de apartamento é, é o. Bom, não sei. Mano, se esconde no banheiro? Que ele vai ter garantia que vai trancar? Sempre deve trancar o banheiro? Go to the bathroom. Okay, I'll. Do you say it again? He's here. No. He's here. He's gonna kill me. Forrest, I don't think we can. Friendship quiz. This might work. Essa é a Carrie, essa é a Carrie. É os amigos dela. A Carrie tá aqui, é o quiz da Jeannie e da Carrie. Yeah! Mano, como assim? Não, se ela morrer eu vou ficar... Mano, não é possível. Se ela morrer eu vou ficar muito puto, mano. 
Era uma pegadinha. What? 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 Are you Are you kidding me? Okay, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> oh, who's on the phone, Carrie? The cops? Era uma pegadinha. It's just a joke, jeez. Wait, isn't that Jimmy? Mano, essa é a hora que eu, que eu adoro de ver os, os sabichões do chat quebrando a cara. Era óbvio que não era o banheiro, você é muito burro. Literalmente qualquer opção. Era literalmente qualquer opção. Forrest Nash, what the hell are you all doing? It's prank night, old man. We're just having fun. That's the kid. The kid who called in earlier pretending to be the whistling Class. man. That's it. I'm out of here. Uh, vai pra casa, Jimmy, caralho. Jimmy, everyone, it's really not safe to o be out. O Jimmy é o que sabe Please. dirigir. Go home. And waste whistling night? <laughs> no way. That little idiot. Whistling night? It's a stupid tradition. Especially stupid since that one kid died back in. <sighs> Would you take off that stupid mask if it's hard to breathe? Who's under there anyway? Hmm? Is that you, Seth? Idiot! Seth is right Oh my next god! Ele tá, uh, ele tá entre eles. Uh, ele, eles estão de olho em nós. Oh no. Who, uh, who are you? Ele vai suviar. Oh, no, man. Matou o motorista. Matou o motorista. Everyone, run! You bought time, but not much. Forrest, we have to. Heather, I already called the cops. Forrest picked up. He's the best we're gonna get. Who is with you, Carrie? My friend. We drove out to the old murder house and. Of course. É essa casa? Who's got the keys? Jimmy had them. Okay, okay. It's gonna be okay, Carrie. Right. Right. We'll figure something out. Between all of you, there's gotta be a way to beat this. Just sit tight, okay? Heather, shut up. If we do that, we're gonna get killed. If only Jeannie were here. Jeannie? Jeannie McPherson? Our intern Jeannie? Yes. She's my best friend and smartest one out of all of us. She stayed in. Tem alguns, por exemplo, o Scott não pode dirigir de jeito nenhum. Porque o Scott vai sofrer um acidente de carro, mas ele também ganharia uma corrida de kart. O David Bonito. Ai, caralho. Ó, a Lisa e a Tammy, elas, elas são boas atrizes. Breathe, Peggy. It's ok. Do this kind of thing every year, Forrest. People get hurt. A Jennifer hurt. é boa em fugir da cadeia. All right, <coughs> folks. A Cynthia não pode. We're gonna work out a way to save Carrie and her friends. Atuar. This next one goes out to all the trap kids out there. <laughs> trap kids. What this? Peggy, you mentioned something about their friend working here? An intern? Yeah, Jeannie. Seems a nice enough girl, but a bit head in the clouds, you know? Not sure why we took on an intern. 
You really didn't have the office space for one. Poor thing got tucked away in a dark corner somewhere downstairs, I heard. All right, I'll go see if I can find her desk. Hopefully she has something we can use. Hey, you find anything that'll help us out? Yeah, I found a friendship quiz with all these kids on it. Peggy said her desk is downstairs. If you think that'll help, then good enough. Carrie's on line one, whenever you're ready. What up? Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. This is Forrest Nash, back again with an unlucky caller on this unlucky night. Carrie, are you there? Yes, we've got a plan, but we can't agree on who should do what. You want me to be the tiebreaker? Exactly. Uh... Por que quatro mortos? Quem botou? Que que são esses quatro mortos aqui? Tá maluco? Morreu duas pessoas. Morreu o, o cara na, na, no repórter e morreu o velho no lixo. O Jimmy. Ah, teve o Jimmy, é verdade. São três só, então. I'm ready. What's the first step? A Catherine não morreu. Ela falou que tava indo embora. Ela falou, ah, não vou entrar aqui e foi embora. Ok. First things first. We'll need a spotter. Someone who can keep an eye on the killer. We'll need someone on the roof. It's gonna be a hard climb. We're deciding between Heather, Kyle and Hot David. Quem deve subir no telhado? Quem é um atleta bom? O Hot David ou o Heather? Tá. Mas o que, que mais o Hot David é bom? O Hot David, ele dirige rápido. Tá entre o Hot David e a Heather. O que, que a Heather faz? Ela provavelmente ia tropeçar em um filme de terror. Ah, não, pera. Quem escalaria o Monte Everest é a Heather, pra caralho. Heather's got this. Yes, Heather. He picked you. Now, please, stop talking about all your cheerleading trophies. Part 2. The whistling man padlocked the gate back to the road. Before we drive out of here, we need someone to pick the lock. Seth, Jennifer and Scott all want to do it. Jennifer. A Jennifer ia escapar da prisão. A Jennifer pra caralho. Jennifer. Jesus, Jennifer, you carry a bump key? Why didn't you say so earlier? Anyway, that brings us to part three. Getting the van keys. I'll volunteer for this. I don't know Jimmy as well as you guys, so... It'll probably be easier that way. That is part four. This is a very detailed plan. I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah, it's weirdly easier to think when you're about to die. You're doing great. What's the next part? Part four. We need someone to lead the whistling man away. We need a fast runner. Oh, for for this rápido. one, we're trying to decide between... Who was it again? Tá, quem é um Hot David, Cynthia, and Scott. Tá, a Cynthia e o Scott... E um, ó... O Scott não pode que ele ia tropeçar. O melhor atleta. O melhor atleta é o Hot David. Vai ser o Hot David. Hot David. Oh. <risos> yeah, you uh you spend a lot of time running shirtless. You got this, Hot David. Sweet. Okay, let's recap. We get the eyes on the roof. A runner distracts the killer while we grab the van keys and pick the lock on the gate. Okay. Now the tricky part. The getaway. Ooh, what's the plan there? Well, we can't all outrun the whistling man. But he thinks we're just a bunch of stupid teens. Verdade. So, let's use that against him. Part five. We trick the killer into a trap. Someone can pretend to be injured. Who would make the most believable point? Who you got? We got Lisa, Tammy... And Cynthia. Tá. Quem ganharia um Oscar? A Lisa e a Temi estão tão pau a pau. Mas a Temi não sabe fingir direito. Então significa que, dentre essas, a Temi tem um voto contra. Então é a Lisa. O que mais a Lisa pode fazer? Terminar na prisão. É a Alice, é a Alice, vai ser a Lisa. Lisa. Você está certo, Lisa. Ter que 
smile at rude customers is perfect practice. That should take care of the killer. And then it's time to get out of here. Finally, part six. We need someone who could drive us through the woods and back to Gallows Creek alive. Who's our getaway driver? Should it be... Who have we got? Chad, Scott, Cynthia, oh, whatever. Forrest, you know what to do. Bom, o Scott com certeza ia bater o carro. A Cynthia também tem um voto. A única pessoa que tá dizendo que poderia... É o Shed, é o Shed, tem que ser o Shed. Chad. Oh, perfect. Your go-karting experience will be great, Chad. Thanks, Forrest. We'll just take a few seconds for ourselves, and then it's go time. Sounds good. Talk to you in a sec. Good luck, Carrie. Eu acredito no meu parça Shed. That actually sounded like a pretty good plan. Impressive as hell, right? Damn straight. Tá gostando do jogo? Tô adorando. Tirando o, o, aquele diálogo ali que eu achei estranho. E a cena do cara dentro do, do escritório que ele morreu. Uh... Calma, qual? Ah, tá. Oh, the kids are back already. Line one again. A, aquela, aquela cena de eu ter ligado o rádio foi mais vacilo meu. Eu devia ter pensado melhor antes de ter falado. Eu não tinha essa cara que ele tava entrando no armário. Mas a cena do incêndio ali eu achei muito confusa. If you're just tuning in, we're coming to you live with a bunch of teens about to flee a madman. Listener discretion is advised. Are you ready, Carrie? We're good to go, Forrest. Money, babe. Alrighty then. Hit it. You got this. Here we go, everyone. Smarter. To the roof. Go, Heather. She's off and away. All right, Renner. Get ready. Wait for the spotter signal. Spotter says go. Keys, Carrie, you need to get the van keys. His face is lying next to him, Forrest. He got caught. Oh, God. Focus, breathe. Focus, you got this. We got this. Next step, trap the killer. All right, Nate, get into position. Everybody else, hide. Okay, performer. Now, act like your life depends on it. Isso é isso. Vai sacrificar. You drive through. Carrie! What was that? It's a whistling man. Drive! Now! Uh, ela era mais legal. Mano, onde eu errei? 
Oh my god. Okay. Can you get somewhere safe? I can make it home. Okay. Thank you both for helping. Deu certo. If you hadn't, I... It was your plan, Carrie. Até agora só morreu o homem, plan. né? Ele não mata a mulher, eu acho. It was really all you, Carrie. Still, I need to get home. I... Breathe, Carrie. You're okay now. I'll call you when I'm somewhere safe. Talk to you then. Folks, that was a... That was a lot. Our thoughts go out to Jimmy's parents in this awful time. For any kids listening in, please stay inside and stay safe. And parents, hug your kids extra tight tonight. É, não dá pra saber na real, porque ele... Porque eu tecnicamente salvei a mulher lá com os, com os adolescentes na festa. Mas já foi. Ok, foda-se. Foi a música mais rápida de todos os tempos. Hey, we had a call come in. Forrest Nash here. Listeners, we've got another caller live on 189.16, The Scream. What's on your mind, caller? Hey, Forrest. I just wanted to phone in and say that I think I speak for everyone when I say that you're providing a real service for Gallus Creek tonight. Obrigado, It's obrigado. Cool what you're doing, man. Well, I'm just doing my job, friend. Anyway, tell me about yourself. What's your name? Are you keeping safe tonight? Yeah, man, I'm good, thanks. I'm at my roller rink. É o, o Peter Patina, 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 Sounds like Ricky roller skating is more than just a job to you. So is this vocational? I wasn't always roller Ricky. Once upon a time, believe it or roller not, I used to go by just Ricky. Yeah, back then, things were pretty rough. I used to roll with a bad crowd. Not all bad, but there was one guy. Anyway, uh, some bad stuff went down. I harbored a lot of guilt for a long time and turned to the bottle. I didn't really talk about it or, or even know how to talk. That's just how it was. That bottle took the best years of my life. Or so I thought. It's never too late, Roller Ricky. How did you turn things around? I joined a support group. I opened up about my problems. Sharing that burden just took so much weight off. It's a long story from there, but I found Roller Disco. I learned how to have fun again, cutting loose and making shapes. Now whenever I get down, I get down. <laughs> I'm finally free from it all, man. It's important just to talk to somebody. That's the first step. Ain't that right, Max? Cachorro. Oh, hello, Max. Well, he certainly sounds like a good boy. Max is my emotional support dog. He's a rescue dog, but I always say he's the one that rescued me. Best dog a guy could ask for. Of course, Oof. the first thing I did was teach him how to skate. He's better than me now, a real pro. Max can skate. O yeah, cachorro sabe andar de, de patins. They said it couldn't be done, and then they said it shouldn't be done. But Maxie loves the rink, man. Oof. Is that another train, Maxie? Maxie loves trains, man. He's even got that special how to greet them. Tá. Tá, esse latido é quando tá passando um trem. A gente tem o um trilho de trem aqui. A gente tem que ficar esperto. Quando ele latir, assim, fazer. Assim... 
É porque tá vendo um trem. Sounds like you two make a great pair. Eu não vou matar esse cachorro. Eu não vou matar esse cachorro. Mods, faz uma aposta se eu vou matar o cachorro ou não. Man, I'm actually hosting free skating lessons tomorrow at the festival. I think it's a great opportunity to give back to the community. Man, all this talk of skating's got me itching for a boogie. Before I switch my radio off for the night, could I request a song for claro, us? Parça. Something I can groove to, you know, something funky. It'll be me and Maxie's final boogie breakdown tonight. Then I think we'll take it down a little. I can do that. Thanks again for calling. You and Max, be safe now, okay? Bye, Maxie. You got it, man. Peace. Well, folks, this next one goes out to Roller Ricky and Max. Enjoy. Ele pediu uma música específica, né? Foi só uma coisa divertida, né? Pediu uma coisa divertida. You're gonna love this next track. I really needed that call, you know? After everything. Yeah, I get that. He talked a bit much for my taste, but it is inspiring to hear somebody come back from the brink like that. Yeah, that, that's what I meant. <sighs> you were thinking about Max on skates, weren't you? Well, uh, would you look at that? Another caller on the line. What are the odds? Better take it. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nash. How are you tonight, caller? I'm doing okay. Oh yeah, Carrie. I made it home safe. Carrie! Hey, I I just wanted to thank you for doing what you could earlier. You know, even though we lost Jimmy and I don't know. Hey, it's okay. You were so brave earlier. You're safe now. I wanted to ask you why. Why he didn't. Why am I? Why what, Carrie? Why did he spare me? After what he did. Maybe he only wanted to hurt the pranksters. I... Maybe. Did he just think everyone was making fun of him? Did he always hate these hazing rituals? I, I mean, if he did, why wait all these years to... Why do this now? These stupid hazing nights have to stop. Carrie, you did so well tonight. Stay safe and rest. Help is coming to Gallows Creek. We just need to hold on. Thanks, Peggy. Hey, Forrest? Uh, could I request a song? Of course, Carrie. What song? Any song by Blast Processor. And... Thank you. This next one goes out to Carrie. I can't get one dentro, velho. Nice! You know, what Carrie just said has really got me thinking. About what? The whistling man left her alone. Why? There must be a reason. When it comes to masked whistling killers, I don't think a reason is a key part Ele of the um process. Não dá pra well, entender. it's something to consider. I need to take a break. If you want to stretch your legs, now's the time. Just hit the Peggy button when you want to get back on air. Esse é um ponto, mano. É, tem um, um monte de gente, tipo, recentemente, ah, isso, isso existe há um tempo já, mas recentemente explodiu cada vez mais, né? Essa parada de hypar assassinos reais e assassinos em série, tentar entender por que, que eles estão matando e tentar entender o motivo. Mas o ponto é que se você conseguisse entender o motivo que fez ele matar uma pessoa, você provavelmente mataria uma pessoa também, porque não tem nada que uma pessoa em sã consciência entenderia que faria um, assass um, um assassino em série, tá ligado? Se você tá tentando entender o que causou, sei lá, o Jeffrey Dahmer a matar as pessoas, é porque você tá tentando pensar igual ele. E você nunca vai achar uma lógica, porque é ilógico o que as pessoas fazem, é maluquice. Let's get going, Peggy. Alrighty, we could run another segment or scratch that for us. We have a caller. Vamos. Oh, 
time to turn the music off. You're through to 189.16, The Scream. What's your emergency? Hello again, Forrest. Oh, that call with the teens was awful. Those poor kids. Still, I'm, I'm glad the girl didn't get hurt. Thanks for your concern. Uh, are you in trouble? What's on your mind? I wanted to ask you again to play my song, Forrest. Okay. You gonna play it? Eu tenho que pegar a fita Peggy. dela. Your name was Dawn, right? What, Peggy? Yes. Oh, well remembered. My name is Dawn. And I wanted to ask you again to play my tune, Forrest. Long Ride Home? You know, the one that Peggy said she threw outside the window? Uh... I'll play a track for you, Don, but maybe pick another one? We don't exactly have that one in rotation right now. No, Forrest. You do have it. It's just outside the window. Como você sabe? There's a serial killer on the loose. I can't just go outside hunting for a record. I'm really sorry, Don, but we just can't get it right now. But wasn't the whistling man just at the old murder house? That's miles from the station. It won't take you a second to grab it. Uh... Don, I'm not sure if you've heard. Ele é bem rápido, o cara tá dando TP na cidade. Something unnatural about this freak. He's he's fast. I'm not risking it. Oh, but I think you will. Forest. Peggy, I'm, I'm calling with more than a request. I know something. I think I know who's going to be next. What? Are you serious? Play my song, Forest. Meteu o louco, meteu o louco. Well, folks, here's some music for you while I think things over. Listen in to this next track from Late Night Lurkers, if you dare. Is she serious, Peggy? She's serious about hearing that song. Acho que vai ser ela mesma, né? Ela deve ter visto ele. Peggy, I mean, is she serious about? I don't know, Forrest, but we don't really have a choice, do we? If she's telling the truth. All right, I'll do it. You're a good man, Forrest. I'm I'll nice. slide you the key to the fire door. Wait, wait. Our fire door has to be unlocked. And yeah, it. É verdade, faz o menor sentido. A porta de emergência fica trancada. Tamo junto, Peggy. Vamos destrancar a porta de emergência. Não é essa? Então deve ser de baixo. Eu nem explorei direito essa parte nova aqui. Eu vi que tinha um escritório. Aqui tem a saída de emergência. Eu vou dar uma olhada. Aqui tem mais escadas. Caralho. Lock. For now. Sala privada. Aqui não é para atrapalhar. Não posso abrir. Aqui também não posso abrir. Uma ratoeira. Tem alguma. Tem algum buraquinho do, 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 do Jerry? Um buraquinho na parede de rato? Ô, oh, torradeira. Okay, okay. Uh, vamos lá. Ah, esse é literalmente onde o cara morreu no começo do jogo. Pera aí, eu preciso segurar essa porta com alguma coisa, mas senão ela vai fechar e vou ficar trancado pra fora.
Ok, ok, ok. Funcionou. Tá. A fita foi jogada. Pera, deixa eu pensar. Ela jogou da janela. Não. I hope she'll be happy when I'm brutally murdered by the whistling man out here in the open alone. Ele tá ali. Eu vi. Achei um fusível. Essa porra dessa fita, velho. Eu tô pegando um monte de fusível. Pelo amor de Deus. O cara morreu aqui dentro. O cara morreu aqui dentro da outra vez. No tutorial. Locks behind me, and of course the key doesn't work on this side. Fantastic. Maybe there's another way back in through the basement, a, a door, elevator, or something. Eu vou. Mano, caralho. Dá pra entrar por aqui? Looks like I'm gonna have to hunt around for some new fuses. Ah, se eu soubesse que era para trazer para cá, 70. Eu tenho 4, 70. Eu consigo colocar um, é, 15, 15, 15 e 5. Ai, ai. Bom, ainda bem que não tem ninguém mascarado assassino aqui. 20, 30. 15 sim, pode ser. Que tem? 
Eu sei que tem, eu sei. Eu sei subir também, seu merda. Quer ser uma competição de, de assovio? Como é que eu fui? Bingo! Ah. E aí, seu bosta? Cai pra dentro. Nossa, que queda realmente enorme e letal. Looks like the janitor's closet. What did Peggy say his name was? Clive. Ah, mal posso esperar pro, pro zelador ser o assassino. Peggy is not gonna believe this. São pessoas que morreram. Tem uma chave de fenda. Eu mandei isso comigo. Tem uma chave pro porão. I'll just take that. Might be important. Ok. Um homem no cavalinho. Uma cabeça de um boneco. Uh, tem uma investigação aqui Ligue pra doar e ajudar Chuck Brody O antigo capitão de futebol americano de Galazai Sofreu um ferimento que acabou com a sua carreira Pra ajudá-lo a se recuperar, estamos comprando bilhete de loteria pra ele Na esperança dele ter sorte e conseguir se reerguer Não foi uma piada Deixe os bilhetes no, no balde abaixo Fique atentos, o médico local, K. Walker Recomenda que todos os moradores tomem vacina contra a gripe Está chegando a época de gripe O ano de 84 vai ser igual a todos Então se proteja na minha opinião, 1969 está sendo um ótimo ano. Vaga na equipe da usina elétrica. A usina elétrica de Gallows Creek contratou um recorde de 20 funcionários e 12 deles foram estudantes do colégio Gallows Creek. Chuck Brody. Que... Acho que. Mano. Ele não é um assassino. Ele estava investigando o assassino. Uh, actually. Sindicato do crime apreendido. A polícia pôs um fim ao conhecido sindicato de roubo de carros. As prisões foram feitas após um membro entregar informações sobre seus comparsas, comparsas investigadores. Imóveis de Gallows Creek. Tyler Wallace. Tá, isso aqui tem muita informação que a gente pode vir aqui depois pegar. Convenção de saúde e segurança. Casamento de Kim Walker e Peter Stein. Será que é esse Billy Price? Extremamente suspeito. Posso tentar levar... Mano, eu vou levar alguma coisa, eu posso... Eu tenho, eu pelo menos tem um, um espaço livre. Eu vou levar essa chave de fenda, porque nunca se sabe, e vou levar essa foto aqui. Espera, o quê? Não dá. Posso descer e pegar depois. Eu pergunto como os shows estão indo. 
Abre. Olá. Gato, 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 gato. Fazer um martini. Ah, ok, o rádio tá tocando música aí, né? Checando por segurança. Ei. E aí, minha parça? Ela tá curtindo pra caralho. Now for... Jesus, Forrest, you've been gone for ages. I thought something had happened. Something did happen. Clive, the janitor, might be Clive, the murderer. What? Let's start from the beginning. The, uh, the fire door Ok, ele vai escrever. Eu acho que ele tava só investigando. Não acho que ele era o assassino, não. Why did you heave that thing all the way up here? Uh, because the basement's creepy as hell, and I don't like standing around down there. Fair. All right. Oh, caralho. Ok. We have a creepy board uh. we found in a creepy basement. Ok, legal, legal, legal. Interessante, informações novas. Who you think is the creepy whistling man? Agora o bagulho ficou bom. Yep. And on the creepy board are the names Chuck Brody, Kim Walker, Rebecca Allen, and Aunt Williams. Isso. Correct. And you think one of these people will be the whistling man's Clive's next target? That's right. Isso. And we've got to find them. You said there are four locations listed there too: the hospital, the power station, the gas station, and the trailer park. Clive must think the target is at one of those locations. Forrest, you're gonna have to figure out if any of the potential targets are at one of these locations tonight. Hit the button if you need any help. Oh, legal. Ok. Então vamos lá. Vem comigo. Concentrar, caralho. Eu não consigo baixar mais a música, velho. Que isso? Deixa eu ver. Vamos lá. A gente tem estação de gás, uma área de, de trailers, certo? A gente tem essas pessoas. Chuck Brody. O que a gente sabe sobre o Chuck Brody? Algumas pessoas têm que se vacinar, mas isso aqui é de 84. Isso aqui é de 84, então não é relevante. A gente está em 87. Se não é relevante, a gente deixa para cá. Isso aqui é de 69. Mas existem algumas pessoas que foram contratadas desse colégio. Para trabalhar na estação elétrica. Vamos botar aqui. Power Station, alguém estava trabalhando. Vamos lá, quem faria sentido trabalhar? Clube do carro, clube do improvisação, clube de ciência, Keith Walker. Mas ele não está envolvido, é a irmã dele que está envolvida, é Kim Walker. A... a doutora Kim Walker, ela é médica. É, a gente tem aqui... Corpos identificados em, em maio de 77. Fom, fom, cuidado, tragédia. Vamos lá. Então a gente tem alguém que trabalha na usina elétrica. A gente tem o... Pessoas que morreram. Doutor... Do... Day Rudge. Olha, são esses nomes. Chuck Brody. Holton Stein. Stein. J. Mildred. Tá. Não tem nada sobre nenhum deles aqui. Ao menos por enquanto. O Chuck Brody... Ele sofreu um acidente que acabou com a carreira dele. 
Será que é esse acidente? Porque tem 5 mortos e 16 feridos. Pode ser, talvez. Vou pegar esse aqui e vamos ver se, se, se tá conectado. Aí tem... Ó, a investigação sobre o acidente do festival foi, 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 festival foi concluída. Investigadores culpam dois engenheiros contratados pela usina elétrica local. O engenheiro An Senior Ant Williams, ou seja, a usina elétrica aqui. E o Sean Everett. O Ant Williams. Então o Ant Williams foi contratado na Power Station. Isso aqui também tá envolvendo isso, não? Ó, oh, participação especial do convidado misterioso. O engenheiro sênior responsável pelo desastre do Festival da Colheita. Em, no dia... Ok, então é isso. Então o Ant Williams vai estar tá do dia 1 ao dia 6... No Festival de Saúde e Segurança de Quiet Ridge. A convenção anual. Agora, onde vai ser esse festival? Enquanto isso, a gente tem... Em, é... O Christine Gassy Repair foi vendido a um homem que ganhou na loteria há 14 anos. Deve ser o Chuck Bobby. Chuck Brody. O Chuck Brody era do time de atleta. Bom, deixa eu botar ele aqui. Essa foto é o Chuck Brody pra caralho. Então, vamos botar ele aqui. Calma aí. Essa parte não é tão legal, adorei, adorei essa, essa parada de você ter que investigar as coisas, muito legal mesmo. E é bem satisfatório ficar mexendo as coisas aqui, tipo, é, a mecânica funciona bem. Vamos lá, o Chuck Brody teve um, um, um desastre, né? um, um acidente e aí ele ganhou na loteria. Porque compraram o bilhete da loteria pra ele. Teve o festival do, que deixou 15 feridos no festival da colheita, que tá envolvido direto com o Ant Williams. Aí tem uma... Teve 24 pessoas foram presas depois de um sindicato de roubo de carros. Um informante que pediu anonimato, chamado de R.A., foi inocentado sem nenhuma acusação. Então, alguém chamado R.A. Rebecca Allen. A Rebecca Allen tava envolvida... Ela era do, do carro? Ela era do carro. Ela tava envolvida com um sindicato de roubo de carro. Esse mano tá aqui. Lenda local em Manhattan. A autora infame do livro Diário de uma Ladra sai de Gallows Creek para iniciar uma vida nova na cidade grande. Ela roubou nossos carros e depois nosso tempo e dinheiro, disse o Jim Ramsey. Tá, então a mina, ela viajou. A, a, essa Rebecca Allen não tá na cidade, então garantido que não é ela. Aí tem aqui, um, um local que tá à venda por 10 mil dólares. Cansei de ser uma celebridade local, as pessoas me tratam muito mal. Só roubei uns carros, e daí? Compra outro, tô vendendo meu trailer pra sair da cidade assim que possível. Só quero ir embora, por favor. Tá, então, a Rebeca vem, ela vendeu o trailer dela pra alguém. O seu carro tá seguro? O xerife Matthews pediu pra que fiquem de olho em atividades suspeitas. A onda dos crimes dos anos 70 será detida, eu garanto. Preciso trabalhar juntos pra prender esse bandido. Tá, isso aqui é a... É a Rebeca também. Aí tem essa tragédia do freio do ônibus, que bateu um caminhão de combustível. Será que era do posto de gasolina? Isso foi em 77. O posto de gasolina foi comprado em 86. Não, não, não. Gostaria de comemorar o casamento entre Kim Walker no dia... e Peter Stein no dia 30 de maio. Tá, a Kim Walker tá aqui. E casou com o Peter Stein. Então a gente tem duas opções, certo? A gente tem o cara que pronto trabalha no posto de gasolina. Que ele comprou o posto de gasolina e ganhou a loteria. 
Tem essa mina que tinha o trailer park, mas vendeu. E, essa, e esse acidente em 77 de um caminhão de combustível. Ninguém, o hosp, aqui o Walker estaria no hospital. Mas o que a gente quer saber... Eu acho que é esse cara. Ele tá garantido que nessa exata semana que a gente tá... Pera, eu não sei se essa convenção... Onde, onde vai ser essa convenção? Quiet Ridge. Acho que isso é outro lugar. Que acho que é outra cidade. Ele não tá aqui. Então ele saiu pela semana, não tem como ser ele. A mina se mudou pra outra cidade também quando, quando ela, ela se casou. Só pode ser ou a Kim Walker ou o Chuck Brody. Mas a Kim Stein morreu. Porque ela casou com o Peter Stein. Era Kai Stein. Ela era Kim Walker, mas ela virou Kim Stein. E aí ela morreu. Então só pode ser o Chuck Brody. Na estação de gás. Adorei. Essa parte foi muito boa. Eu sinto tanta falta disso nos jogos, mano. Eu sinto tanta falta disso em videogames. Meu Deus do céu. Então vai ser Chuck Brody no... na estação de gás ali. How's it going? I'm ready, Peggy. Are you sure? We've only got one shot at this. Só pode ser isso. I'm sure. Let's do this. Ok. Name first. Who do you think the target is? Chuck Brody. And where will I find them? Estação de posto de The gas station. Ok. I'm dialing. One moment. Chuck Brody, listen, I know this sounds crazy, but we have reason to believe the Whistling Man is coming for you. You need to get yourself and everyone else out right now. The Whistling Man? Where the hell are you? Esse trecho melhorou o jogo 20 vezes para mim. This is Forrest Nash. Listen, the Whistling Man's back. We found a list with your name on it and... Oh, God. It's today. The year I finally let myself forget. I... Forget? Forget what? Forget. No, no, man. I gotta get out of here. I, I think he ran off. Well, fingers crossed that Chuck... Jeez! It sounds like something blew up. He's using bombs now? I... I... Is Chuck... I don't know. Hang on, we're getting a call. Ah, it's you. Nice. Chuck? Chuck! Forrest, the whole goddamn gas station's got up. Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. I got everyone to follow me out. The town's only ambulance was blown to hell, though. Yeah, damn it, that fireball threw me. I've got to get to the hospital. I'm not feeling great. Forrest, man. I can't thank you enough, but... Yeah. I gotta go. Wait, I... Damn it. We lost him. What was that about today? Oh, Forrest, the call board is lighting up. Get us into some music while I deal with this. Careful with this next track, listeners. It's dynamite. A classic back by popular demand. This is Long Ride Home by the Barn Finds. Vambora! Hey! Hi, fellas! Welcome to my radio. Today we're gonna listen to some Long Ride Home. There's gotta be more in the basement to show us who Clive is targeting. And if that's the case, we can get ahead of him. Stop the killings before they can happen. Forrest, we need to go back down. By we. All right, lady. lady. Right. Let's yep. go. Like I said, I need to handle all these calls. Maybe start with that creepy mannequin room you mentioned before. I still have a lot of questions about those, by the way. Eu também Me achei too. eles estranhos, senhora. Tinha, tava apontando para cima, para esquerda, para baixo. Vou dar uma olhada, senhora. Vou pegar aqui essa ferramenta que vai ser necessária. Eu já presenti.
Que jogo bom pra caralho, eu tô adorando ele. So many locked doors, so few keys. Muito, muito bom mesmo. Tô perdido. É pra cá. Tá mijando aí, parça? Hey, hello, fellers. Olá. Tá. Todos os manequins estão apontando. Hmm. The key. Was this always here? Ah, é porque eu tirei. Must have missed it when I brought everything upstairs. Ah. Bem bonita essa sala também, né? Tipo, muito rica o, o ambientação. Os caras mandaram muito bem aqui. Ó, isso aqui tá apontando pra lá. Isso aqui tá apontando... Bom, sei lá, vamos ver o, a chave do porão. Eu tô achando que é o meu chefe, o Red. Peggy, dê me algum warning antes de yelling down the intercom? Sorry. Tá, tem um mapa da cidade aqui. Tem uma foto misteriosa. Que tem um. Alguma coisa misteriosa em um lugar misterioso. Que é perto daqui, certo? É tecnicamente ali atrás. Inclusive aqui no chão. Parece isso. Parece bastante isso. Se não for, porra, é bem parecido. Peggy, I found a tape and a map down here. A map of what? Looks like it might be to somewhere in this storage area. Weird. Well, maybe the tape will give us more information. Give it a play. Onde que eu vou tocar, senhora? Aqui embaixo não tem toca fita não, tem que subir para porra. Bom, acho que não é aqui então. Se o lugar for... Porque eu acho que poderia ter mudado algumas texturas. Ah! É literalmente ali! Tem como tocar a fita aqui embaixo? Não. Quer dizer, sim. Forrest, você deveria ouvir aquela primeira tape. Achei que isso aqui é... Eu... Sim, eu tô procurando onde toca a fita, senhora. Eu tô procurando onde toca a fita. Ah! <risos> He says I need to follow the maps and find the tapes. I guess that's what this map is about. I think we need to see what else is hidden down here. Be careful, Forrest. Keep looking. Buzz the intercom when you found something. É o Fit. <laughs> Não acredito que o Fit era o, assass... o assobiador esse tempo todo. Time of autopsy is 7 a.m. Cause of death is asphyxiation from drowning. The degree of rigor mortis indicates that the subject has been deceased for five hours. That puts the time of death. Ok, então alguém morreu afogado. Tem que achar uma gaveta agora. Explorada antes, não tem nada. Que foi isso? Barulho do nada. Tá, tem que achar essa gaveta misteriosa aí. Não, é isso aqui. Mano, acho que eu achei outra fita que eu não devia ter achado. Eu vou procurar a fita que eu, eu quero achar. Eu vi na ordem. Aqui. 
Small lacerations to arms, legs, and face, typically obtained by running through foliage. Severe blistering to the feet, as though the deceased had been running useful. without stopping. Tá, alguém tava fugindo. Ok, feito um, de, um, um departamento, um BO basicamente, feito pelo xerife. Às quatro da manhã foi recebida uma ligação da, de uma corredora, a senhorita Sandra Sharp, relatando que um corpo foi encontrado à margem da represa. A Sandra Sharp foi a mina que morreu, né? Ou que tava, que, na real que me ligou, mas eu salvei a vida dela. Dirigi até lá para investigar e identifiquei no local o corpo do George Barrow. Entrei em contato com o necrotério e com os pais do garoto. Eles informaram que não ouviam desde 19 horas do dia 2. Hum. A gente tem esse daqui, é o mesmo? Deixa eu ver. É. Preliminary toxicology results shows no signs of inebriation. However, a high amount of cortisol was found, indicating elevated levels of stress in the immediate moments before death. Tá, o cara foi assassinado, resumidamente, o que a gente sabe até agora. Additionally, there appears to be a post-mortem injury to the arm. It looks like it was trapped in a car door. Ok. Ah, tem que falar isso. Tá. É aqui. Ratinho! Now this has to be important. Ok, é uma autópsia do George Barrow. O corpo é de um homem branco de 18 anos de idade. A causa da morte foi definida como afogamento devido a sinais de asfixia. Foram encontrados ferimentos na junta das mãos, provavelmente causados por brigas anteriores, o que condizem com o histórico agressivo da vítima. Não foram encontrados ferimentos, de acordo com o legista, não há sinais de crime. Além disso, resultados preliminares indicam... Do exame do... Indicam que fazia alto teor de... Ai, mano, isso aqui é, um... é uma... A Virgínia foi forçada a, a, a forjar uma autópsia falsa. É, alguém escreveu. Desculpa que eu te forcei a fazer isso, Virgínia. Para! Para! Caralho, chat! Pelo amor de Deus, mano! Vocês não têm respeito nenhum, mano! Eu peço respeito pela minha Virgínia e pela minha Maria. Ok, ok. Onde é que é o lugar? É na gaveta do escritório ali. Mano, essas fotos são completamente inúteis. É literalmente do lado, caralho. Caneta. For my collection. A few weeks ago, I noticed headlines cropping up in those papers, one after the other. Each headline about a murder. Each murder, the death of someone I knew almost 20 years ago. And each one drawing closer to Gallows Creek. Drawing closer to the anniversary. 
but I don't think we deserve killing. All I hope now is that I can save some folk from the worst that I can. I don't know. Do something to make up for what I did back then, I guess. I didn't kill anyone, mind you. But that's Eu acho que é Aurora mesmo. Essa Maze Cartwright aí. Eu acho que tinha esse George. What the hell? Peggy is not gonna believe this. Acho que tinha esse George Barrow aí, uh, que foi morto em algum tipo de pegadinha, alguma coisa por um monte de amigo. É... E essa Aurora era apaixonada por ele, ou se ela era muito amiga dele, ou ela vai morrer, não sei. Essa Maisie Cartwright, que é a Aurora. E aí eles forjaram que tinha sido um acidente, mas eles provavelmente tipo, deram, fizeram uma pegadinha com ele, deu merda, ele morreu e aí. Uh, for, fizeram a, a Virgínia doutora falsificar uma falsificar uma, uma autópsia e tal. Então ele tá procurando pessoas específicas sobre o passado que, tão, que estão conectadas com, com o assassinato desse moleque. Hein? Mas por que matou o Jimmy? Boa pergunta. Talvez porque ele tava fazendo pegadinha assustando os outros também. Ué. Ah. What have you found, Forrest? It's an autopsy tape. Doesn't say for who, but I think it must be for George. Poor George. He was so young. Something's bugging me, Peggy. What do you mean? I swear I recognize the voice of the woman talking on the tape. I just can't place it. Seriously? Do you think you've met her before? I don't know. I mean, I just got here recently. I don't know. Found another tape. It talks more about how George died. What did it say? It sounds like he was running for his life. Sprinting through trees and bushes. Getting cut up all over. What would drive someone to do that? I'm not sure yet. There's also a tape about a toxicology report. There were no signs of drinking or that he was on anything. What? But everyone said he went swimming drunk and drowned. It was in the newspaper and everything. I found a written autopsy report. What did it say? According to that, it's just like you said at the start. George drowned after getting drunk. Said he liked to fight too. But that contradicts the tape. I know. And I think I know why. There's a note with a report that says, I'm sorry I made you do this, Virginia. If it was on the autopsy report, then Virginia must be our coroner. Wait, the caller from earlier, when we had to call the takeout restaurants, wasn't her name Virginia? We need to call her back once we finish down here. It looks like she might know something about what's going on. I found a tape that introduces a new detail to the story. Post-mortem injury. Apparently, his arm got caught in a car door. A car door? Yeah, after he died. How do you suppose they can tell? How can they tell? I'm a radio producer, not a coroner. Hmm. The written report I found doesn't mention Porque him at all. Uma... Quando o sangue não tá mais fluindo é diferente. Unless he got it when the police collected his body, I guess someone else must have moved him after he was dead to where he was eventually found. But the report, what is going on here? I found a police report. Mentions a friend from earlier, Sandra Sharp. Sandra, the jazz runner? That's right. She found George's body washed up at the reservoir. The reservoir? Yeah. What's strange about that? George got cuts from running through foliage, right? But there's no forest around there. Also, how did it wash up at the reservoir? What do you mean? The reservoirs don't have tides. 
but that's what the police report said. It's not possible, though. I did a small project on reservoirs and got an A. But, yeah, not important right now. The important thing is that it doesn't make sense. What are you suggesting, then? That the body was originally found somewhere other than what the report suggests? That the sheriff tried to cover it up, but accidentally let something slip? Something like that. I think. Well, Sheriff Matthews wrote the report. If he hadn't been eviscerated, we could have asked him. True. But Sandra is still alive. Once we're done down here, we should give her a call. In another tape, the coroner comes to the same conclusion as I did. George was running from something. Maybe an animal? Maybe, but then there's this next bit, where the coroner thinks he was moved post-death. So she agrees with us. At the end of the tape, someone burst in and demanded Virginia stop recording. I... I think it was Clive. This is starting to make sense now. This... This is a conspiracy to cover up what happened to George. Sí, sí, no. I, um... I think I found Clive's last recording. I think Clive might be gone. Gone? I found a confession. Not for any killings, but... For playing a part in covering up George's death. He left this behind in case he died. He hoped someone would find it. You... Do you think the Whistling Man already got him? Possibly. We've had a lot of callers tonight, but... Maybe not every victim made it to the phone, you know? We don't know how many there really are. Christ, Forrest, that's dark. I know, but... Clive said he had read about other murders in other towns, and that the murders were all folks who knew about the incident. And the killings were getting closer to Gallows Creek. He said he wanted to do something good for once. The board in his office. He wasn't tracking people down to kill them. He was tracking them down to save them. Ugh, why didn't he just come out with all of this? He said his employer threatened his family if he spoke out about any of it. His employer? The one who orchestrated the cover-up? Oh, Clive. I'm sorry for thinking you killed all those people. Do you think you found everything? I think so. Forrest, what's going on here? Someone wanted that boy's death to seem like an accident. And they hired Clive to make it look that way. Deve ser esse Red então, que já é o chefe do cara aqui também. Três da manhã. Não jogue esse jogo às três da manhã. Thank God you're back, Forrest. I've been running out of stuff to pad our airtime with. Peggy, you work in radio. Forrest, I'm stressed. I mean, really. How are we supposed to keep a show going with all this happening? This is our job, Peggy. We got to do it. Bom, na, tecnicamente seu trabalho não é salvar a vida das pessoas através do rádio, né? Mas é o que dá para fazer. We should call Virginia back. All right, I'll get her on the line. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Mas se tipo o virasse um ovo. E a voz parecia do Fit. Seria o Fit MC o verdadeiro culpado? When you're ready, shut the music off. Hello again, Gallows Creek. This is Forrest Nash. We're circling closer to the truth behind tonight's events. To this end, we're calling back one of our earlier callers, Virginia Sullivan. Fredman Plunker here. Who's this? Is it you? Plunker, hey, it's the Radio Man, Forrest Nash. Radio Man? What's up? Solving mysteries, saving lives. The huge. Right, 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 right on. Plunker, what are you doing at Virginia's house? Sh she asked if we could stay to keep an eye out for that whistling turd. So we're hanging out, bro. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's big of you, Plunker. Oh, it's nothing. Can I speak to Virginia? 
Sure thing, Radio Man. <gasps> I'll just go get her. Who is this? Hey, Virginia, it's Forrest. I'm I'm glad you're still okay. Oh. Forrest. Sorry, I'm still jumpy. Uh Sorry to hear that, but listen, hey, we need to talk. What about? We're calling because we think you can help us understand why this is happening tonight. Me? What would I know? Does the name Clive mean anything to you? Clive? No. I don't know that name. What are you asking about mm, this for? Suspeito. You mentioned that name earlier when you called us the first time. I don't know what I said then. I was petrified, Forrest. Clive's the janitor at our station, and we know you spoke to him in the past. Forrest, please. You don't know what you're doing. He'll come for me. Virginia, it's okay. Clive won't be coming after you. We think Clive's dead. Dead? But isn't he? He's the whistling man, Forrest. Why are you so certain Clive's the whistling man? It's okay, Virginia. He's Cala gone. Boca, falar. We found evidence to suggest he... Well... And we found your autopsy reports for George Barrow. How? I saw him destroy them. Well, he didn't. I don't know if he kept them or made copies or what, but we found them. And we know it's related to what's happening tonight, which is why we called you. Why did you write a false report? I... All right. One day, I came into work to find a, a boy on my slab. Okay, okay, okay. And as I finished the autopsy, this man, Clive, he just burst in. And he started making demands to give over the reports. Okay, okay. To okay. falsify what I found. Okay. Of course I said no. But, well, when someone wants to make you do something... They can use the carrot or the stick. For me, he used both. You see, my sister is sick. She has a chronic condition that's never going away. It's expensive to treat, and it was getting to where I couldn't afford it. And Clive promised me that his employer would pay for my sister's treatment if I did what he said, and that if I ever spoke about this, He'd beat me to within an inch of my life. I don't know why he had me do it, but... My sister needed me. You have to understand. She needed me. We understand. I don't. You helped cover up the death of a child. Forrest! But... but he threatened me. And m my sis... You abused your power to help yourself. Oh, God. Forrest, that wasn't necessary. It needed to be said. Eu estou transmitindo isso na rádio. Se eu concordar com essa menina, eu vou estar cobertando. Então, Virginia is tied up in all of this. Clive threatened her to keep quiet about George's death. But for who? Why cover up these details? Well, we know Sandra was involved in George's death. Do you want to call her? I do. All right, but before we go asking questions, I think we should know what we want to ask. O bom que as pessoas importantes yeah. eu consegui salvar. We need to ask her about finding the body. She was the one who discovered it, but something just doesn't add up. A hundred percent. She knows more than she's saying. I wonder what she's hiding. We'll hopefully find out soon. Anyway. Just be careful when you're talking to her. Don't push too hard. We don't want her to hang up. I'll be careful. Okay, okay. All right, calling her now. Hopefully she's at her jazz studio. Aha, Forrest, you're through. Hello, this is Sandra at Jazz Pizzazz Jazz Studio. Who is this? Hello again, Sandra. It's Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And you're live on air. 
Oh, I always thought folks called into a radio show, not the other way around. How jazzy. What can I do for you? Uh, well, <laughs> we're trying to understand what's behind the attacks tonight. We had a few questions. Why, Forrest, of course. Heck, after the way you saved my life, I'd say yes to just about anything you asked. Huh? Do you know why the Whistling Man might have targeted you? Ha! As far as I can tell, he was just a knife-wielding psycho with superhuman cardio. He'd have chased after anybody. Right. Well, we think he might be chasing specific people. People who know about the death of a boy named George. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Sorry. Sandra, we know you found George's body. We have the police report. I... I don't know what you mean. It's okay, Sandra. We know. You do? You know about? Uh, yes. Of course. <sighs> this studio is my life. After I found the body in the river, I couldn't lose my studio. Do you understand? Okay, okay. Sure. I understand. When the rent just kept going up, he said he'd stop if I just needed to keep quiet. And everything would be okay. Será que eu falo claro para deixar ela soft ou eu pergunto quem era? Eu já fui muito bonzinho. Sandra? Who was he? He was He said if I told everyone I found the kid in the reservoir instead of the river, he he I'm sorry. I can't do this. Impossible, man. And she's gone. I don't think that could have gone any better. Okay. You truly did great, Forrest. It's for me, well, folks, if anyone out there has any thoughts on what's going on tonight, please call in. That's good timing. We've got a call waiting just this second. Welcome to 189.16 The Scream with me, your host, Forrest Nash. Hi, Boris. I know this is really out ah, of the way with everything happening tonight. But I wondered if you could send this special birthday message to my uncle. É o cara da pizza, 100%. É o point. You know what? I'd welcome a change of pace. I'd be glad to. Thank you, Boris. He's my uncle Ronnie. His first name's Peter, but he never liked his name. But since he always had salt and pepper hair, even as a kid, can you believe it? Folks always called him Pepper. Uh, thanks for the history lesson. Is there anything besides happy birthday you would like to say to Mr. Pepper? Oh my God, damn it! Yes, tell him he can get the best birthday deals and party packages here at Pony's Pizza. Starting a job. You son of a bitch! Stop calling us. Sorry, Forrest. Let's just move on. We've already got another caller on the line. Maldito This is 189.16, The Scream. I'm Forrest Nash. You're on the air, caller. <laughs> caller. <sighs> que isso, porra? Tô jogando RPG, meu mano? Tá falando monstro? Forest? Forest? Are you okay? <sighs> Forest? I hope the whistling man gets in with his own pizza slicer. Jesus, Forest. Eu tô ao vivo, pô. Sorry. Ô, logo. Sorry, that was that was too much. It's okay. It's been a high stress night. Don't worry about him anymore, okay? Not for tonight, anyway. I think he's spent. Se o ponte for o, o assassino, well, eu perdoo ele. We've got another call. Whenever you're ready. Folks, 
Don't spend your money at Pawnee's Pizza. That's all I'm going to say about that. Moving along, I'd like to welcome another caller to 189.16, The Scream, with me, Forrest Nash. Who, may I say, is calling? Well, hello again, Forrest. Don. Don? We played your song, Long Ride Home. Did you hear it? Can you tell us? Uh, never mind that now. Forrest, I'm calling because I need your help. Don, we had a deal. Kept my end. Who is the next target? Oh, it's too late for that now. I'll be the judge of that. Oh, fine. Chuck Brody was the next target, but that ship sailed. How did you know it was Chuck? Well, if I tell you, I might just put more people in danger. People are already in danger. This might help. Of course, I don't have time. I need your help. Do you mean... Yes, he's after me now. You? I think so. He must have heard me on the radio. Right, don't know how to Nah, no sé. Right. Okay. Tell us everything. I was out following a lead, trying to work out who mm, would be next. Estranho. After Chuck. And what happened? And I started to feel like I was being followed. I came back to my apartment building, but this newfangled security system. Ah, has deve ser aquele down. prédio. O é prédio rico. Get inside. Can a neighbor let you in? Oh, I only moved in last week. I don't know anybody yet. There's not even a buzzer here, only the, the keypad for the entry code. I need that code to get inside. Which apartment block do you live in? Aquele wood, né? Maybe one of our listeners lives there too. It's the yeah. new Woodside apartment building between the town hall and the trailer park. But I doubt any of your listeners live there. Better. Sounds like a prime piece of real estate. This phone thing really carries at night. <laughs> Shit. Ela tá aqui. Ela tá no Roller Ricky. Ela não, ela não tá aqui nem fudendo. I'm guessing you're not a dog person. No, I'm not. It's my neighbor's dog. Boy, I wish he'd muscle that thing in. Oh. And now he's blasting David Scopo out of his window. This guy can't get any... It's like man. He's coming down the street. I don't think he's seen it yet. Before he's in the maze. I need your help. I need the code for that security system or I'm gonna die. What's your neighbor's name? I don't know my neighbors, remember? Mano, ela tá na casa do, do Roller Ricky, mas ela tá pedindo o, o bagulho do Woodside Apartment. What's the name of the security system? Uh, there's a sticker on the box. It says Starling Security 4000. Lugar. There's a keypad and it looks like it wants a, a six digit number. Starling Security 4000, huh? That's right. Very newly installed. I need the key code before the whistling man gets me. Yeah, of course. Don't worry, Don. Thank you, Forrest. Tá. I knew I could count Ela é 100% assim. I'll sit out of sight. Ela é 100% assim. 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 Ela é
Vamos achar. Eu lembro que eu, que eu vi isso lá embaixo. Ok, so she's locked out of the Woodside Apartments, and somewhere Clive probably has the papers for the Starling 4000. Eu quero ver se eu acho aquele panfleto do, do negócio de novo para ver se tem esse sistema de segurança mesmo ou não. Eu tenho quase certeza que não. Eu acho que tava lá embaixo o panfleto, mas vamos dar uma olhada. Eu lembro que era um jornal preto e branco. O que, que é isso? Ah, tá. Com a foto de um, de um prédio. Não era isso, não era isso. Não era isso. Nada aqui. Eu acho que é lá embaixo, mas eu quero garantir e dar uma olhada em tudo só pra ter certeza. Eu não confio nessa mina, ela tá claramente. Ela é claramente o um assassino, ela que tá indo atrás das pessoas. Acho que era por aqui. Aqui, aqui, é isso aqui. Woodside Apartments. Coming soon, hum? Proibir no animais. Pets. Not open until. What? Disponíveis a partir de 1 de outubro. Não, só vai abrir mês que vem a porra do apartamento que ela falou que mora. Eu ainda vou procurar o bagulho de segurança, porque vai que ela consegue superar, eu, eu, eu ajudo ele a travar, tá ligado? Ela é uma burra, ela não pesquisa as coisas. Mas tem que usar aqui, ela talvez nem, nem esperasse que eu estivesse perguntando pra ela, ela achou que eu ia comprar. Porque ela ouviu, ela provavelmente tá ouvindo desde o começo e ela sabe que eu tô ajudando as pessoas o máximo que eu posso. Eu acho que era aqui embaixo, né? Eu lembro de, de ler sobre esse não sei o que 4000 em algum lugar. Order delivery form. Starling must have left this by accident. This system's not even installed at Woodside. Opa, peraí. Tem uma, um alarme... Ah, é isso aqui. O alarme 4000 nem, nem tá instalado, mas tá instalado no, no roller é, do Rick e Patini. A, o, o ID é 1032. A gente também tem isso no nosso rádio. Tem necessão de gasolina. Foi comparado pelo Jamie Mesher. Starling 4000, user manual. Ah, these codes should come in handy. Ok, a gente tem o um código de manutenção. É teste de alarme 19159. Troca esses códigos para prevenir a entrada. Não, não. Ao editar os códigos e comandos, as teclas devem ser apertadas em sequência com um intervalo de 4 a 5 segundos. Após 4 a 5 segundos sem que nenhuma tecla seja apertada, a sequência será encerrada e deverá ser reiniciada. Tome essa precaução antes de realizar qualquer procedimento no manual. Se cometer algum erro durante a digitação do código de segurança, pare e aperte asterisco para recomeçar. Se interromper a digitação do código na metade e recomeçar imediatamente, um código incorreto pode ser registrado. Tá, então basicamente você digita o código de 4 a 5 segundos e se você parar de digitar, ele vai resetar depois de 4 a 5 segundos. Ah, 
uh, uma gama de funções. A gente tem o código de atendimento de manutenção, código de desativação do teste de alarme e código de acesso. Eu vou, eu vou ativar o, as medidas de segurança. Eu vou prender essa mina, o 91519. É isso. Eu vou levar o manual. Essa mulher acho que me engana, caralho. Como é esse jogo? Muito bom, bem bom. Esse final tá ficando muito mais interessante. Ele, ele tem umas coisinhas meio... Tipo, no geral ele é, mano, muito bom. Mas ele tem um, um puzzlezinho só que ele é uma brochada, mas depois ele, ele volta a ficar bem legal. Welcome back, Forrest. Find anything? The Starling 4000 Security Manual. It's got a bunch of codes. Good. And did you find anything else? I found a flyer for the apartments. They're not open for move-in till next month. No pets, and they're located pretty far from the trains. Ah, uh, so Dawn probably isn't trying to get into Woodside, is she? Nope. You remember who else has a Starling 4000 installed, though? Oh my god. Roller Ricky! I... Do you think we should give him a call? Is that crazy? I don't know what you'd say, but... That might be a good idea. Okay, one moment. I got the number here. Patching you through. O foda é que ela tá ouvindo o rádio, né? Mas eu preciso falar com ele de qualquer Shit. jeito. He probably can't hear it over the music. Forrest, I don't know about this. This is super weird. Just put me through to Don. I'll take care of this one way or another. Okay. If you say so. Bom, a gente não tá no ar, então ela não sabe o que a gente sabe. When you're ready, shut the music off. Line one, whenever you're ready. Don, are you there? This is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. Oh, thank God you're back. I'm so afraid. What's the code to the gate? E você deu o código de manutenção? Não, eu tenho medo dela de conseguir enganar a manutenção e, e pegar o código ela mesma. Eu vou ativar o alarme, foda-se. The code is 191519. Thank you, Forrest. Talvez esse código de manutenção seja pra mim mesmo depois. Mata o cachorro, não mata o cachorro. É isso. Yes. Thank God. Hello, is someone there? Ricky, get back inside and turn on the radio. Whoever that was, she was trying to break into the ring. She? Forest man, you got no idea. That was him. That was the whistling man. The alarm gave me just enough time to get my rifle. I don't like hurting folk, but I can't let anything happen. É isso, caralho. Protege o cachorro. É isso. I Listen, man, I'm heading back inside. 
Gonna barricade that window? My man, thank you. You and Peggy can skate for free whenever you want. O cachorro está vivo. Nós salvamos o cachorro. I Thanks, Ricky. Can't wait. You got it. Talk to you soon. Okay, Gallows Creek. Here's some music while we process what O cachorro está vivo. Just happened. Tu botar música nova. So, the whistling man is a woman? I had my suspicions. Yeah, sure, Forrest. You just never mentioned it. <laughs> she called up. You spoke to her Such multiple behavior. times. I thought she was just regular Gallows Creek Strange. Really, Forrest? Why do you think she requested that song? Hmm. To get me outside? Maybe, but how? She didn't know the song was outside to start with. That's right. She never actually attacked me out there. So? What now? I guess I should make an announcement. I'll sub you We do have new info. Okay, you're live in three, two... Hey folks, this is Forrest Nash here. I hope you're all safely locked inside. For those of you listening to that last call, you might be wondering what to make of it all. Here's our take. We now believe the killer is actually a woman, one who might manipulate you into letting her in before she attacks you. Cara, ele fala para todo mundo se proteger ou fala para não confiar em ninguém? Porque eu tenho medo, se ela atacar alguém e aí outra pessoa poder chegar pra ajudar, tá ligado? E ela falou, não, 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 não pode confiar em ninguém. Mano, é melhor, eu, eu acho que é mais provável alguém precisar de ajuda do que alguém, do que alguém ser enganado. We're neighbors. Look out for each other and stay safe. The killer was calling themselves Dawn. This could be a fake name. If anyone é a Maisie Cartwright, caralho. Info on the killer, please call in. You folks have my new number, right? It's 911. Hopefully, our next caller can help shed some light on our killer. Hey, we had a call come in. Okay, folks, time to take a call. This is Forrest Nash and you're listening. Please help me. My name is Casey Moore. I'm a 25 Nancy Drive. My best friend's been stabbed. He's he's bleeding everywhere. I don't know what to do. Please help me. Is he still breathing? He, yeah, but, but he's bleeding out fast. I really need help. Please. Take a breath. We what went out can? of the reservoir. We were heading back to his place when we heard this whistling all of a sudden. It just started freaking out. He screamed at me, told me to hide. Thanks to drive. I'd never seen him like that. And I... Oh no, Forrest. Then what happened? É perto de onde ela tava. Casey, was he talking to a woman? I don't know. They had a mask and wore all black. Okay. That's all I know. Please, we need help here. I'll get you help, but I need to know. Where did the masked person go? They left. They left him to bleed out. I waited until they were gone, then dragged him into the garage and called 911. Wait, why didn't she make sure he was dead? I don't know. I think I heard them say something like, it's not so funny now, is it? Before they left, but please, he needs to get to the hospital. Não tem ambulância. Forrest, the ambulance was destroyed in the explosion at the gas station. You should get all the info you can. 
What's your friend's name, Casey? It's Jason! Jason Parker! Can you tell us where Jason was stabbed? They stabbed him in the stomach, and then stabbed him again in his leg when he was on the ground, and it's... Oh, the knife is still there in his leg! We'll be right back. Okay. Peggy, patch us through to the hospital. On it. Phoning St. Gabriel's now. Switch to line two. Hello, St. Gabriel's Hospital. How can I help you? Hi, this is Forrest Nash from 189.16. We have a stab victim at 25 Nancy Drive named Jason Parker. He's been stabbed in the stomach and the leg. He's bleeding heavily. Oh, God, I'm sorry. But the ambulance is... Well, you know. I know, but please, we need something or he's going to die. Forrest, I... Listen, you're going to have to get him here. We need to see him and we can't get there ourselves right now. We don't have any way to drive him right now. And even if we did, he's bleeding out fast. All right, listen. We need to buy him time to get here. That means stopping the blood first, and then finding someone to stabilize him. To stabilize him, you really need someone with first aid training. Do either of you have any? No. Me neither. Uh, damn it. I'm really sorry about this, but I have other patients who can't wait. All I can do is talk you through the procedure as quick as I can, and then leave the rest to you. Okay. You think you can handle that? We don't really have much choice. Hit me. Okay, from the top. If he's bleeding out, then you need to get him comfortable and try to stem the bleeding. Lay him down. Apply continuous pressure directly to the affected areas. When the bleeding slows, get a clean cloth of some kind and hold it over the wounds. Get them comfortable. Apply pressure. Clean cloths when slowed. Got it. I think. You said he was stabbed, right? The object he was stabbed with is still in him. Don't take it out. It's stopping the worst of the bleeding right now. If anything, you should secure it so it stays where it is. Okay. I okay. wouldn't have thought of that. It makes sense, though. God, that was a lot of info. But I think we can handle this. Glad you got it so far, because there's more to go. I'm still with you, Doc. What else do we need to know? If he's lost a lot of blood, he may enter shock. If he does, act fast. If you apply the cloth and it's bleeding through, don't remove it. Just apply another on top of okay, it. Okay, okay. If it's safe, elevate his legs to get blood circulating to his vital organs. Try to keep him warm. Get him to rest and reassure him. We need the patient to stay calm. <sighs> All right. Uh, don't replace bandages. Elevate his legs. Keep him warm and calm. This is a lot. I'm really sorry. That's as much as I can give you right now. Try to stop the bleeding. Find someone to get him stabilized and get him here as quick as you can. Good luck. All right, Forrest. Casey's still on line one. Hola. Hello? Hello? Forrest, are you there? I'm here. How is Jason doing? Badly. He's still bleeding. I need help. Hey, I've thanks for the raid, bad. I've been stomach wound since you left. But he's still bleeding. Welcome. I don't know what to do. I'm See? The nurse said to do that. What about the knife in Welcome. his leg? Welcome, thank you, bad. It's gotta be hell. Should I pull it out? No, chick, no tira fuck. No, don't touch the knife. The bleeding will get worse if you pull it out. Are you sure? I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop making suggestions. No, don't worry, Casey. We're a team here. We're all going to get Jason through this. Casey, is his leg wound bleeding right now? <laughs> I hate looking at that knife. Yeah, yeah. It's bleeding. His stomach is worse, though. Deixa a faca firme. I think we need to secure the knife so it doesn't move around. Do you have anything you can tie around it? Uh, yeah. There's some laundry piled up on top of the dryer, some cloths on the hood of the car, and what else? Uh, I guess I've got my jacket. As roupas na secadora. Mas as roupas estão molhadas, não? Mas o pano precisa ser seco, não pode ser molhado. Calma aí, mano. As roupas estão limpas ou não? O Cia, ela falou que as roupas estão limpas? Porque a do carro não tá, mano. No carro o bagulho não tá limpo. Tá em cima do carro, tá sujo. Ela falou que a roupa tava no secador, mas tá, tá molhado ou não? Eu vou, mano, eu vou de roupa, foda. Look in the laundry for something like a towel or a shirt. Hold that over the wound. Ok. Jason, here we go. I'm sorry, Jason. It's secure. I'm putting pressure on his stomach again. I'm starting to 
Puta, pera, era só pra... Não. Nossa, era só pra manter a faca firme, mano. O pano... Nossa, a roupa limpa era pra barriga. Fudeu. Casey, eu vou ter uma rápida palavra com a Peggy. Continue colocando essa pressão e nos diga quando o bleeding está sob controle. Eles estão fazendo bem. Mas o que se acontece? Nós ainda estamos aqui. Só chame se você precisa de algo e nós vamos estar lá. Eu te prometo. Ok. Eu vou esperar. Eu vou esperar. Eu vou esperar. Eu vou esperar. Jason, por favor, esteja bem. O que foi, mano? What's up, Peggy? We can't stay on the line with her all night. Dawn is still out there. What if other people need us? You're right. O cara tá sangrando. Ele tá morrendo. on her way to her next target right now. Exactly. And you heard the nurse. We need someone there with training who can stabilize him. He's got to get to the hospital somehow. Alguém que mora lá perto. O Ricky. O Ricky mora lá perto. Could somebody nearby help them? Maybe drive them to the hospital? You know, that's exactly what I was wondering. Do you have anybody in mind? I might. A little before you started working here, KFAM did a mandatory first aid training course. Me and Karen missed it because we were away on a producer getaway. You skipped it, didn't you? I... never mind. So, how does KFAM's first aid course help us? Casey said they're at 25 Nancy Drive, right? Yeah. Why? They put up a bunch of cheap houses around there about 10 years ago. So a bunch of people here at the station live around there. Do you think any of them could help Casey and Jason? Probably, but I don't know who lives there. And since I missed the training day, I don't know who knows first aid. Could you call them and ask? I don't know everybody's numbers. I've only ever called Karen. Everybody's personnel info is probably in Reggie's office. Uh -huh. Got it. I'll look through their files in Reggie's office. It's a life or death situation. I'm sure they won't mind. Right. But there are a couple of problems with that. Uh. Go on. It's sensitive information, so Reggie probably locked it in his safe. Great. Great. Do you have any idea what the combo for the safe could be? Not a clue. Reggie's a serial note taker, though. Maybe something in his office will give it away. Okay, so Okay. Right. There is something else. I'm not gonna like this, am I? Have you ever heard, the future is floppy? Peggy, what the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about floppy disks. O homem está sangrando floppy na rua. Floppy disks are like these futuristic things that have information on them. You put them in a computer and they do something. Peggy, I know what a floppy disk is. Anyway, Reggie decided that the future is floppy and started phasing out our physical records and replacing them with these floppy disks. I imagine it's the same for our personnel files. That's good to know. Since we haven't heard anything from Casey, I'm guessing Jason's okay for now. I'll check out Reggie's office and see what I can find. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. I just have to look around. Good. I'll patch my mic down to the office so you'll hear me over the intercom. Okay, deixa eu sair do... Obrigado. O escritório dele... Locked tight. Não. O escritório dele tá lá atrás, eu acho. É embaixo? Acho que é embaixo. Ah, é, dá uma caminhada por aí enquanto o meu parça está morrendo com uma facada no estômago. Cheguei. Nem fudendo, é literalmente sinais do outro lado. O que é isso, caralho? Não é possível um bagulho desse. Uh... Vistas de aliens no parque. Ok. Clive, se você está lendo isso, pare de roubar minhas anotações. Ele digita roxo. Ele está com raiva. Uh, pergunta para Jane onde estão as fitas. Já faz semanas. Achei um disquete. Qual 
cortes profundos, uh, ultra secreto. Um entregador de pizza que mata com um cortador de pizza. Vou deixar umas fatias em você. O mais assustador é que ele nunca tem pizza. Porque... Ah, tá. Ele tá escrevendo um roteiro de um filme de terror. O que aconteceu com o entregador original? Talvez ele possa aparecer no final e começar a namorar a sobrevivente. A protagonista é uma estudante universitária chamada Megan. Ela é inteligente, bonita, criativa e intolerante à lactose. Contraste entre ela e o assassino da pizza. Acontece no dia 11 de julho, uma data importante para a cidade. O grande encontro de gansos, quando gansos aparecem e salvam a cidade de inanição. Interligar essa é a história principal do, da pizza. As pessoas próximas a Megan vão morrendo durante o filme, como em Machado 3, só que mais medonha. Fechar parecida com Pontes Pizza. Um pedido a cada 10 recebe um cortador e ingressos. Caralho, ele tá... Mano, o cara é visionário, vai bombar esse filme. Ok. O Reginald Scott sabe primeiro dos socorros. Ele... Ok, ele terminou o curso. Beleza, beleza, beleza. Do escritório do doutor Keith Walker. Ah, é o irmão da, da, da mina lá que morreu no acidente. Looks like I need a four digit code. Data muito importante? Não, não é possível. Vai ser a data importante. <risos> Vai ser a data importante do filme dele, velho. 11 do 7. Caralho. John Hedges. Tiro de sketch. Os que já foram, eu vou colocar. Pera aí, tem um pouquinho. X Forever. Eu preciso escrever um bom. um documento de apresentação, um bom título. Trazer de volta o protagonista original e o vilão. Ah, ele quer escrever um, um roteiro do quarto filme. Ele gosta muito da franquia X. Nash Forest. Ei, tem um arquivo sobre mim? Get a load of this, Peggy. Apparently, I'm a lone wolf type. You're right, I'm sorry. I need to focus on possible candidates. I can read the rest of this later. Desculpa. É verdade, eu tenho que focar. O cara tá sangrando e morrendo na rua. Tá, eu preciso ver a informação do cara que sabe. É. Ok, Reginald Scott. Nenhum deles é o Reginald Scott, caralho. Pera, ele é o Red. Faz sentido. Ah, tá. Quem mais fez? Bom, a gente sabe que... Deixa eu ver aqui. Ela e a Karen não fizeram. Então, a Peg não fez, nem a Karen. Uh... Então, a... A Bárbara. Como foi essa? Que susto! Ok, ela mora na Craven Street 14. Ela tá se enturmando com a equipe. Todos os comentários sobre ela na última avaliação. Tem a impressão de que ela tem algo de entre, ela, entre ela e o Brad. Ah, a Bárbara é a recepcionista. Ela arranjou outro gato. Ela já deve ter pelo menos cinco. Daisy, Murphy, Penelope, Fred e Lord Winston. Se toma conta da produtividade, as fotos do gato distraem a equipe. A Bárbara riu quando eu contei meu conceito de filme de terror pra ela. Eu não me importo com o que ela acha. Uma história sobre um ovo alienígena localizado no centro da Terra programado para eclodir no dia 30 de fevereiro é uma ótima ideia. Por que outro motivo a gente evitaria a existência de um dia 30 de fevereiro? 
Ele é um gênio. Ele é um gênio. A Karen não fez, eu acho. Ela falou que ela e a Karen faltaram. Então deve ser só esse Bradley, hein? O Brad, no caso, né? Aí, Brad e Bárbara perderam a maior parte da aula de primeiros socorros. Puta, então não é nenhum dos dois. Quando eu contratei o Brad para ser o crítico de culinária, falaram que eu tava louco. Uh, então nem o Brad nem a Bárbara podem ser. Mano, deve ser esse John Hedges. Uh, o John se recusou a aprender primeiro socorro do treinamento. Eu sei que ele é médico militar. <risos> Ua. John, pelo visto tem vários equipamentos médicos em casa obtidos no exército. Isso é, isso é legal, preciso denunciar. Falar com o John de novo para não comer as amostras grátis que o Brad recebe para fazer as críticas. Ele disse que ia parar, mas já é uma quarta vez que ele faz isso. Uma atitude antipatriota repreender. Tá. Ele mora na Dance Drive, é esse cara pra caralho. É o John Hedges. Nancy Drive 14. Eu tenho que pegar o número dele. O aniversário do Reggie Jr. é no, é no dia 10 do 9, não 9 do 10. Ano passado foi um desastre. <risos> e não era nem essa senha do aniversário. Não era nem essa senha. A senha dele era a porra do, do, do roteiro do filme, velho. Uh, Nancy Drive 542. Vou tirar foto disso. Eu tô só com a sem bateria. Cu! Me ajuda, chat. Marca esse nome, esse número. 5420753. Mano, pode pagar a aposta já. O cachorro não morre mais não, chat. Eu já salvei ele faz tempo. Bonito esse jogo. Vambora. Ele já explicou porque tá tanto tempo em live. Sabe aquele filme com o Keanu Reeves que eles estão dirigindo um ônibus e se o ônibus descer de 80 km por hora eles morrem? Então, esse sou eu. Se essa live tiver menos de 12 horas eu vou morrer. Hey Peggy, você está aí? Sim, eu estou aqui. Você encontrou o que precisamos? Eu acho que eu sei quem o nosso melhor bet é para ajudar Casey e Jason. Casey, I'm here. What's wrong? Jason started going pale. I tried to get him to rest, but he just threw up everywhere. What's happening? What do I do? Puta que pariu. God, it sounds like he's going into shock. Casey, just stay calm. It's going to be okay. Casey, calm down. You've done everything right. I I need you to listen to me, okay? For Jason. What did the nurse say to do about shock? Manter ele quente. E calmo. E levantar a, as pernas, né? Casey, I need you to elevate Jason's legs. We need to get the blood flowing to his vital organs. Hey. Got it. Bota a jaquetinha nele.
Vai lá, vai lá. Bota coisa nova, bota nova. Coloca mais atadura. Pode ser. Jason is going to be fine. Just make sure he knows he's going to be okay. Okay? É isso, acalma ela que ela vai acalmar ele em consequência. All right, fella, I'm doing it. Jason doesn't sound like he's doing too well. You said you knew who to call earlier. O John Hedges. We need to call John Hedges. He lives on Nancy Drive. He didn't really participate in the first aid training, but he's a former war medic. He's probably the most trained person we have. Really? I never really spoke to him before. A war medic, huh? Yeah, and according to Reggie's notes, John keeps all of his old equipment at his house. He's something of a hoarder. Nice. All right. What's his number? Uh, five four two zero seven three five. Calling now. John, it's Forrest Nash here at KFAM. We have an emergency and we need your help. Forrest, if this is a work emergency, then it can wait until the goddamn morning. Just leave me a note like everybody else. John, no, this is a medical emergency. A man has been stabbed by the whistling man, or never mind. He, he's badly hurt and he's going to die unless we get someone to him now. The whistling man? What kind of joke is this? John, we're not kidding. A man is going to die if we don't help him right now. Seriously, I... Vamos, John. John Magic. John Medicine. Where's the patient? What's his condition? He's at 25 Nancy Drive. I think we got his friend to stem the bleeding, but he's gone into shock. He's passed out right now. You say he was stabbed? Of his injuries. From what we were told, he has two major stab wounds. One to the stomach and one to the leg. The knife is still in his leg and the stomach wound is open. Understood. Let me grab a few supplies and I'll head right over. Damned if he dies on my watch. Thank you, John. We'll let him know you're on your way. Eu sabia que eu podia confiar no John Hello, Casey. Poggers. Are you there? How are we doing? What about now? Is he still thrashing? He's passed out. Please tell me about someone to help. Casey, help is on the way. My colleague will be there soon. You hear that, Jason? Someone is coming. You're going to be just fine. Just hold on for me, okay? Just hold on. Come on. O John Poggers! Eu sabia que eu podia confiar nele. Mais uma pessoa salva. And with that, the show moves on. We're sending our best wishes to Jason. Well, after all that excitement, I think we could use some music. Deixa eu dar uma lidinha aqui. Come back upstairs when you're ready. O que que ele sabe? O que que tem sobre essa peg, hein? Do que é a peg? Eu sei que, ó. Peg Weaver, vamos ler o que, que, que tem sobre ela. Uh -uh. Uh, produtora Peg Weaver, Waylon Rhodes. Nunca vi alguém se dar tão bem com todo mundo quanto a, quanto a Peg. Ela, Karen e Bárbara já viraram uma pequena família. 
Talvez seja uma boa deixar a energia feminina conduzir a estação, pode ser mais barato do que a energia elétrica. Às vezes eu suspeito que a PEG queira seu próprio programa. Ela está sempre participando nas ligações do grito, parece que o Forrest poderia sair para tomar café no meio da ligação e ninguém notaria. PEG e Karen perderam outro evento de trabalho por causa das sessões de treinamento. A gente tem uma coleção enorme de enfeites de coquetel. Por que estão fazendo um treinamento no bar? Calma aí, pô, tô, tô lendo aqui os negócios aqui. O Felipe Neto! Lá na esquerda. E essa Karen? Time for some music. Mora na Nancy Drive. Ela tem se destacaram no, tra no trabalho, se tornou mentora da PEG. É, ela faz saídinhas de produção. Eles perderam o amigo secreto, o treinamento de primeiros socorros e a visita do Ted Gallows Jr. à estação. É, isso aqui é pra ser um bait. Acho que era um bait pra você achar que era ela e matar o cara. Se você não tivesse lido todas as coisas. Cheguei. Vamos dar a musiquinha. Essa nova que a gente mal escutou direito. Pode ser. Não, esse aqui eu já ouvi. Essa é zica. You'll like this next song. It's getting pretty late. This might be your last break for the night, so try to enjoy it. Give me a buzz when you want to go back on air. Ok, depois disso não tem volta. Tem alguma coisa que a gente quer fazer? Não, vamos embora. Let's roll. You got it. We've got another call coming through too. Ok, Forrest, shut the music off. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. I believe we have another caller on the line. How are you tonight, Colin? Deve ser Aurora. Ores. Ah, é o Ricky Patini. Oh, oh, and Max is oh. here too. Good to hear from you again. Aí, o, How are you both doing? Ah, oh, we're good, man. Thanks to you. You're like our guardian angel. That wouldn't be a bad look for you, Forrest. A little white wing halo number. Maybe something for the KFAM Halloween party. All right, everyone. Let's calm down. Ricky, I'm just glad we could help you and Maxi. Is there anything else we can help you with, Ricky? Actually, I think I have some info that hey, might help you. Information, information. Uh, Oh? What's that? You see, man, uh, me and Jason know each other. You know each other? Yeah, we went to Gallows High and played on the football team together. He was a gnarly offensive linesman and I was our star wide receiver. Runner Ricky, they called me. All right, and what does that have to do with tonight? Well, because George... The guy who drowned. Okay, okay. He was on our team too. Okay. Keep talking. What happened? We had our first team party on the night he drowned. He seemed like such a good dude. Ricky, were you there when George drowned? No, man. Once the party turned, I beat feet out of there. Man, I remember George and his girl there. There was a whole lot of love, man. I can see it, you know? Ricky, listen, this is very important. I need to know everything about her. I didn't really know her before. Or see her after that. Okay, Aurora era namorada dele. I never even got her name, man. I just remember he called her Bean. Then what did she look like? Please, tell us anything you remember. <sighs> I just remember a pretty girl, man. I'm sorry. Ricky, you said the party didn't last long. What happened? We were just having a good time, and then the next thing I knew, everyone was running for their life. I looked up and saw a goddamn whistling man in the trees. And Na festa. And I never ran so fast in my life. Ah, era uma pegadinha. I straight home. Eles deram uma pegadinha e aí ele morreu. I didn't know about George until next morning at school. I'm. 
guessing it was Whistling Night, wasn't it? Era, eles eram pegadinha da, But da the subir. Whistling Man was just another kid. Yeah. I don't know how George died, but uh, I always felt like if anyone deserved to die that night, it should have been me. Não fala isso, não fala isso, Rick. Ricky, it wasn't your fault. You're not a bad person. I know that now, ma'am. It took a long time to learn, but... Yeah. Just thought I'd tell you all what I know. Thank you, Ricky. This helps. Thank you. You got it, ma'am. Yeah. Anyway, I think it's time for me and Maxie to free up your phone lines. Ciao, Maxie. Listening, man. A teoria... Oh. Night, Ricky. A teoria se mantém. Uh, Ela é a namorada right, do... Looks like we got Do a new George? lead in the case. If anyone aí... has any info about this mysterious being, please call in. If she was George's girlfriend back then, she's probably in her mid to late 30s now. Huh. Oh, we have another call coming in. But hang on. What's up, Peggy? É Aurora. E foi amiga, tá tentando derrubar. Peggy. You're gonna want to take this call off the air. Who is it? Just do it. All right, folks, it's time for another track. Here's one to help you sit back and relax. We'll be right back after this. Ah, I hope this is good news, Peggy. Who have we got? Find out for yourself on line one. Hello? Forrest, I'm glad I got back through to you. Sounds like it's been a busy night, huh? Surprise! It's Leslie, Quem our é Leslie? 911 operator. Ai, a mina do carro, do começo. Come save us. It's so good to hear from you. Are you okay? We're doing okay. Sara and I are both happy to be headed back home. We're happy to have you too. I... Wait, Sara? Oh, yeah, I mean Deputy Martinez. <laughs> anyway, we got back into radio range a little while ago. We've been listening in, but haven't been able to get through it till now. It's been non-stop since you left. Please tell us you're bringing help. You bet. I'm leading a whole goddamn squad towards Gallows Creek as we speak. Okay. It turns out somebody had cut the phone lines. They had no idea what was happening. That's great news. That's crazy about the phone lines, though. Do you think the whistling man cut them? I'm guessing so. I don't know how he, how she, how the whistling man did it. But that doesn't matter right now. Listen, we're coming in hot, but we need your help. I know Gallows Creek isn't a big town, but if we don't know where the Whistling Man is, we can't get him. Okay. Her. That's where you come in. You can count on us. What do you mean? It Mano might be a speed, long papai. shot, but here goes. The Whistling Man already called up a few times. I bet she calls again. We're still a little ways out of town, so if she calls, stall her. Buy as much time as you can for us to get in. Bom que ela tá ouvindo tudo isso. talking to her, try to figure out where she is. We'll be listening in, so once her location is known, we'll head straight there and end this nightmare. Ah, tá fora do ar, é verdade. I'll do my best. I know you will. Tá tocando Back. música. I can see the headlines now. Boris Nash's interview of a lifetime. Anyway, I'll radio the other cars and tell them the plan is a go. Hopefully the next time I see you, it'll be with our killer behind bars. Take care now. We'll see you soon, Leslie. Oh, thank God. It sounds like this is almost over. We're nearly through this. I hope you're right. I want to ask. The sooner this is over, the better. I am right. Trust me. Anyway, we should get you back on air. Okay. Taking callers is the only way to see this through. Time to turn the music off. Confia no pai. Bringing you back live now. Welcome back to The Scream with me, Forrest Nash. The line is lit up, but before I get to our next caller, I just want to say things are looking up. It's almost over. Uh. But for now, let's bring in our next caller. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash. Hello, Forrest. This is John Harris. Who's your foggers? 
I'm here with Casey. Casey. I wanted to give you an update on Jason. Ah, tá, é a outra mina. John, is is he going to be okay? He's a fighter. He'll be fine. Nice. Mais um salvo. Got stabilized and resting in a bed. We're preparing to move him to the hospital. Nice. Thank you so much. If you hadn't been there, then God, I don't even want to think about what would have happened. Of course, Casey. We're just happy he's okay. John, Casey, you two did all the work. Tell Jason to get well soon from us, whenever he's up for it. Well, why don't you tell him yourself? Is this Forrest? No fitch. The one and only. I hope you're feeling better. It's good to hear you, Jason. How are you? Oh, well, you know, I've got a hole in my stomach, and there's a knife in my leg, but John gave me something to take the edge off. So, I might feel even better than either of you. <laughs> o Dino tá dando chat. Take it easy until you get to St. Gabriel's. I will. But, uh, before that, I, I needed to call you. I'm guessing the Whistling Man is still out there? Yes, the Whistling Man's still out there. Why do you ask? You know something about the Whistling Man, don't you? Yeah. I do. Can we talk about what happened earlier? Go for it. We spoke to Roller Ricky not eu, long after you were attacked. I don't know if he's Mary Campbell or is he, Maisie. Is he alright? He is now. I mean, he was attacked earlier, duas. but this call came after. Hey, guys, I'm really sorry, but there's a call on the other line. I just need to make sure we don't have another situation brewing. You fill Jason in on what happened. I'll be right back. Sure, Peggy. Sorry, Jason. Uh, where was I? Ah, yep. Ricky's fine. You don't need to worry about him. That's a relief. He told us about George. Sounds like everything's finally coming out now. It's been tough to hold it all in. Sounds like you've been holding back about something awful, Jason. I'm part of the reason my best friend is a dead, gene. Forrest. And the few who knew about it said if I ever said anything, I'd find myself in jail for a long time. It was hell. And then the town just moved on like it never existed. What happened that night? I went pegadinha. along with the stupid prank. Era uma pegadinha, caralho. Whistling night. Era uma pegadinha, caralho. Desafio hardcore. Had an idea for a way we could haze the newcomers. We decided to plan a party in the woods and have the whistling man crash it. It was stupid. We each had a role. I was the stabbed friend. At the party that night, I left the group for a second, met our whistling man, pretended to get stabbed in front of everyone. Started an almighty panic with those screams. That was the last time I saw or heard George alive. How did George die, Jason? I don't know. I was playing dead. But when I heard her scream... Ricky mentioned a girl named Bean. Is that who you mean? Bean? Oh, yeah. I guess George Qual didn't call her dela? Qual nome dela? Yeah. É a Mary ou a Maisie? Ele chamou ela Bean. Eu ouvi ela de novo hoje, noite, Forrest. Seu nome era... O que? O que aconteceu? Estamos ainda no ar? Não, não, não. Parece que o poder está completamente desligado. Como nós vamos de volta? Eu não... Oh, nós podemos usar os generadores de emergência lá no basement. Ricky pegou isso há um tempo atrás. Que palhaçada, que palhaçada da mais baixa. Um emergency broadcast? Broadcasting a serial killer's location to the cops so we can end this nightmare? Fair point! It's in the storage area, in the far back corner, up on the wall. You might have spotted it earlier when you were digging around for all those things. Eu lembro, eu vi. It'll have a big red button. Just press that. Oh, see you when you're back. Hum, que receitinha pra desastre, hein? Que receitinha pra dar uma merda colossal. Hum, que gostosinho. Essa 
você não vem junto comigo, querida? Eu tenho medo do escuro. Não tava trancado disso aí, não. Se eu ouvir um assobio, meu cu aperta. E não abre mais. Far back corner. Why is this station so big? I don't see, sir. Not that one, no. The other that was brilliant, there. That's it. That must be it. Oh, we've got power. Okay, okay, okay. The whistling man. I need to warn Peggy. Eu tô ouvindo passos em cima. Pega uma chave de feira pra me defender. Dual will de filha da puta. Cai pra dentro! Peggy, are you there? Are you. I need to get back upstairs. Cadê o rádio? Pegue não, por favor. Vem, filha da puta. Tem uma vassoura, não tem medo de usar. Ah! Sério, tô avisando, caralho. Pegue. Pegue algo pra... Oh, não. Não, 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 não tem sangue, não tem sangue. Ok, 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 ok. Feliz aniversário, Peg. Você faz oito e vai ganhar biscoito. Com amor, M. Ela é a irmã mais nova da Aurora. Peggy, where did you go? Oh my God! What the hell? No way. This can't be happening. Não acredito que estou fazendo isso. Não acredito que você fez isso comigo. A call. What do you want? Good to talk to you again, Forrest. You know, I've really enjoyed our chats tonight. I guess we've had some moments. My favorite was when Ricky ran you out of the rink. Ha! Huh. You sure did get me then, Forrest. Where's Peggy? Have some patience, Forrest. It's almost the end of the night. Almost the end of the show. But it's not over just yet. We've got a little time still. So let's make the most of it. What do you mean? Make the most of it how? Well, huh? I thought we'd end tonight's Whistling Man special with a special guest. The one who started it all. Oh, let me take that out of your mouth and... You crazy bitch! Let me 
let me go. Welcome to the air, Mr. Teddy Gallows Jr. Wait. Ele tá percebendo. Ele tá cozinhando. Wait, where the hell is Teddy? How, how are you talking to him if you're here with me? Because I'm not there with you, Forrest. I'm here with Teddy. And if he says where that is, well, he knows he'll get it. Wait, then. Ele tá cozinhando. Forrest Nash, let me introduce you and all of Gallows Creek to my boy, Henry Barrow. Não. Henry é o nome do cara na peça. Your son? You mean you... Wait, but he... Yes, Forrest. He and I had a son. So there were two whistling men tonight. Of course. That explains how you were always able to get around town so quickly. Hang on. Did you say... Barrel? That... Are you... Let me just get this mask off. Damn uncomfortable thing. No wonder Mooney went crazy wearing this. There we go. Marie? Marie Campbell? Okay, okay. George's old girl. Oh, well, it sure has been years since I last saw. Oh, God damn it. Where are you going with all of this? Everyone's gonna know now what Teddy did. He killed George that night. This night. 20 years ago. Listen to me. You... Ah! You're gonna talk when I talk to you. And not a moment before. Meanwhile, Forrest, I'm gonna give you the chance to talk. You're gonna help me reveal what really happened to George all those years ago. Why should I help you? Why should I play any part in this? Because I think you believe in justice. You think this is justice? You have no goddamn idea, Forrest. These people... These people you've been trying to save, they were all in on it. They all knew George was murdered, but... Murdered? Uh, listen, I... Caralho. I said you speak when you're spoken to. <sighs> now, I know you've done some good work tonight in piecing together what happened to George 20 years ago, and that's why I want you to interview us. Are you serious? You you want me to interview you? Am I serious? After everything tonight, you really have to ask me if I'm serious. Uh Do a good job and hell you might be the only one to leave here alive. I need to drag this out. If I can buy Leslie time to get back to Gallows Creek, and if I can find out where Marie is, then this can end. Teddy, we'll start with you. Just uh, talk me through what happened that night. How did it start? How would I know? It was 20 years ago. Teddy, be honest with me or we're both going to die. Honest? Forrest, I'm trapped here with a psycho. <coughs> what the hell? God damn it. Tô tentando manter, okay. tô tentando manter. Our first team party was coming up. Okay. And when I saw the date it was scheduled for, I had an idea for a way we could prank the new guys. I understand that kids in Gallows Creek know tonight as Whistling Night. I'm guessing that's what you mean? Well, we didn't have a name for it then. It was just the night that Mooney went missing. But Whistling Night is what they'd call it later. Wait. You mean this was the first Whistling Night? I, uh... Keep talking, Teddy. We 
Went up near Whistling Point. Uh, God, who was there? Me, Jason, and George, of course. Uh, but George didn't come alone. He brought Marie. And Roller Ricky, he was there too, wasn't he? Yes, Ricky was there too. Okay, okay. Runner Ricky, our wide receiver. I helped him off the bottle, you know, because I'm a decent man. Is that so? Yes, it is. He came apart one day. Some people do. He had some issues. Wasn't stable. I didn't want him to hurt his chances in life. So I helped him keep himself together. You, you were afraid he would talk about that night, weren't you? Keep talking. About midway through the night, we put the prank into action. We looked up at the trees and saw Jason there, bloody, like he'd just been stabbed. And the whistling man, <laughs> screaming. George and I and Ricky, we got left behind. Okay, okay. But Ricky was in on it too. I know he was. He and Teddy were as close as anybody. Teddy must have told him the plan. Did you ask Ricky if he knew or not? Well, did I, I hold didn't on, see hold any on. reason to. Why? Because Ricky phoned up earlier. He didn't know anything about it, Marie. What? He had no idea what was happening. He said he was as terrified as anybody. Isn't that right, Teddy? You didn't tell him, did you? Ricky never could keep his a menina queria sair matando gente que nem sabia o que estava acontecendo, mano. Ela nem tinha certeza que estava envolvido e estava matando todo mundo. Perdeu a razão. Quer dizer, não que ela tivesse muita razão. Como você ainda diz que foi apenas uma brincadeira? Oh, vamos lá! You made George think Jason had been murdered. He thought his best friend was dead. And so tonight you stabbed him for real? It's the role he wanted to play. Jason's still alive, Marie. He was with a friend. We talked her through how to stop the bleeding and got him professional help just in time. Oh. Well, shame he didn't have the good sense to die earlier. Enough about him. Me and George took okay, off running, okay. but somehow we got separated in the woods. I ended up near the bottom of Whistling Point, and when I noticed George wasn't with me, I panicked. And then, I don't know how he snuck up on me, but the Whistling Man grabs me. I scream, and he starts laughing, telling me it's, it's just a joke. I can stall for time here. How did you feel in that moment? I felt like nothing was real. Isso é o que é uma vai mais enrolar, eu acho. Confused. Só que eu pergunto o que aconteceu depois e depois eu pergunto quem era. Acho que faz sentido. Acho que se eu perguntar quem era, ela vai falar que é o Ted. Então eu vou perguntar o que aconteceu. Tell me what happened next. Recognized. It was Chuck. I know. Chuck, Brody, it was the whistling man, laughing away. But then he stops, and he's looking up at the top of Whistling Point. What was he looking at? <laughs> Teddy, what happened next? Nothing. Can't check. I'll do post. It was just Teddy. George fell off Whistling Point. Ela tem que enrolar. Perguntar onde ele estava. Isso não vai ter como progredir a história. Perguntar onde ele estava. Where were you when it happened? 
I, uh, you pushed him. You were up there. You were dressed as the whistling man, too, and... I didn't push him, goddammit! I just chased him up there, and he kept backing up. When I saw he was about to go over, oh, I reached I out. That's what you saw. You liar. It's not my fault. He didn't know it was a joke. If he'd had any brains, he would have realized. Ugh. You bitch. No one's going to believe this. After all, you did. Continua perguntando. If she's lying, why the cover-up? My future was at stake, Ash. You know what it's like. People like us are bred for bigger things. I'm going to be the mayor of this town, of course. And then governor. And then, who knows? What happened that night was tragic. It should never have happened. But it was a mistake. It was just a stupid joke. Gone wrong. So my father sent Clive out to clean it up. Why should a blip ruin my future? Mano, o jogo quer muito que eu odeie esse cara. George was a blip? He wasn't a blip, Marie. His father covered it up from there. I searched for George's body all night, but... Sandra found him the next morning while out jazz running. She found him in the river, but she lied about that to protect Teddy. She said something about her rent going up, unless she... Teddy, did your father own Sandra Sharp's dance studio? It's Gallows Creek, not Sharp Creek. Se bater de novo, ela vai matar ele e aí não vai dar tempo da polícia chegar. Porque mesmo que ele seja um cuzão, ela matou gente inocente. I take it that's a yes? Yes! Ok. We own most of the town. That's it then. Your father was going to run her out of business. Unless she lied and said she found him in the reservoir instead of the river. What my father did in his business dealings is nothing to do with me. The false reports. That's why you killed Sheriff Matthews too, isn't it, Maria? Not just to get him out of the way, but... Everyone was in on it, Forrest. Even the coroner wrote a fake report. Said George was drinking. That he just got himself into trouble. And... I saw. I'm... I'm sorry. For all it's worth, Virginia didn't have much of a choice. She had a sick sister whose treatments she couldn't afford. She played along with the gallows to save her sister's life. And her own. Even... even still, she should have told the truth. I did my part. I tried everything I could think of. I even went to the newspaper, but no. That coward killed the story. But... Maurice Russell is dead now. Ela matou o cara só por por causa do que não queria publicar o jornal. When will the killing end, Marie? End? When does it end? You can't kill the world. This has to stop sometime. It has to. It never started. Wait a sec. You don't see. Man, I see percent a a peg. Mano, não é na pista de patinação.
Mano, foi, foi no campo de futebol? Ele era, ele era jogador de futebol. Mano, foi no campo de futebol, não é possível. You're at the football field. Jesus Christ! Forrest, you idiot! We're in the gym at Gallows Creek High! I told you not to do that. Wait! He's... Eu matei ele. Dead too now. Isn't he? He is. Anyway, I think that about wraps up the interview with Teddy. Eu matei ele porque eu errei a porra do lugar, caralho. Eu não lembrava, o bagulho tava ali atrás, mano. Ah, não, pera. Não é a Peggy, não. É realmente o... Eu achei que era a Peggy, não é, não? É realmente o filho dela, mano. Sister? Peggy, o que está acontecendo? Por que você está ainda lá? While you were speaking to Jason, I got a call. Do you remember? Well, it was from Dawn. She said that my sister Marie was there that night George died. And that I should come to the gym for a reunion. And when you walked in, you found out... That my sister is... Ela tá feliz com isso. She said that it was my last chance to see my sister. I knew if I told you, you'd try to stop me or come with me when we need you on the radio. And I just. You should have said something. You should have told me. Verdade. I know. Okay, I should have. But I didn't imagine this situation then, so just... What happened to you, Marie? You just disappeared one day. Disappeared? I was thrown out, Peggy. I begged Mom and Dad to do something about what happened that night. But did they care? No. They told me to stay quiet. They only care when they find out like George. And... And... Uh, Marie, I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. Really, it's mom and dad I should be seeing right now. But since they're dead and gone, well, I'll have to settle for the next best thing. I wait. Put that in hold up. Is that why you went after that kid in the maze maze, Eugene Stein? Because his parents? That's right. Cara, eu quero matar o moleque só porque os pais dele estavam no dia. A mulher, o moleque herdou a vingança. Testamento, passa a casa, o dinheiro e uma serial killer que vai vir te matar. Marie, Peggy never forgot about you. Keep your mouth shut. She kept a card from you. She, she kept it here on her desk. What card? The card you made me for my eighth birthday. What does it say then? Happy birthday, Peg. Now you're great and eight. Love, M. I. Well, I. Henderson Police! Free! No! No, man. Henry! Get out of there! My boss, I'll throw something! Peggy! We have one wounded, one dead. And we're in pursuit of the suspect. Puta ferida, Peggy. Police, freeze! Forest. Leslie. Oh my God. Peggy. She's been cut pretty bad, but we're here now. I'll be okay. God, Marie. Oh, Ted morreu. Não perdemos muita coisa. Sara, I need you to look after Peggy. She needs help. Now, we got here just in the nick of time. Where's Marie? She bolted right as we got here. The police are right on her heels. They won't be long now. It's over, Forrest. Jogão. Well, folks, it was a long night, but we made it through together. Cara, vai terminar. I'm gonna head off to go check on. O cara ainda tá dando um salve. This is Ben, Forrest Nash. And it's Ben, 
A scream. Legal pra caralho o jogo, adorei. Jogão pra caralho. Uh, muito boa a, a, a parte do, da investigação no quadro lá. Disparada a melhor parte do jogo. Muito gostoso resolver aquele puzzle. Uh, muito bom esse jogo no geral, assim. Tudo nele muito divertido. Ih, prenderam, prenderam. Gostei demais mesmo. A única coisa. A única coisa que eu não gostei do jogo é um detalhe, mano, muito minúsculinho. Sempre que eu redo a análise pro jogo, eu gosto de elogiar tudo que eu, eu achei incrível. Esse jogo é muito bom, muito bem escrito, a história é interessante. Uh, ele, ela começa um pouquinho assim, mas quando engata e você pega, fica legal pra caralho. É. Muito legal você ficar explorando o lugar, tudo é muito bonitinho. Todas as mecânicas de pegar as coisas e observar elas, assim, é tudo muito, muito gostoso, funciona bem. É, nenhum momento bugou ou teve uma coisa que, que atrapalhou o gameplay, tudo foi muito fluido, bom pra cacete. Boa trilha sonora, as músicas que você toca, a parada de você poder mexer, tem tanta coisa interativa pra você ficar fazendo pra matar o tempo enquanto as coisas estão acontecendo. Muito legal, muito bom. Que jogão, jogão pra caralho. Mas, se eu, fosse, se eu fosse dizer alguma coisa negativa desse jogo, é que tem momentos que as escolhas parecem ser simplesmente pura, short, pura chance, assim. Tem puzzles que que eu achei que, honestamente, existia ali até uma lógica, se você olhasse de trás pra frente, mas, tipo, na hora, porra, tava lá a mina, cheguei aqui no cheguei aqui no, no incêndio, aí apareceu cinco opções. Eu falei, mano, o quê? Ah, vai pro... aí, aí, tipo assim, uma das opções era o nome do lugar. Eu pensei, ah, tem que falar pra ela onde é o lugar. E eu falei e morreu instantaneamente. Tipo. Pô, caralho. Pô, não teve nenhuma chance de contornar o meu erro, de sabe? É, acho que foi, foi meio por. Tem dois momentos que eu senti que foi meio sorte. Esse momento especial do incêndio, acho, acho que foi o mais estranho. É. E a parada do armário lá, talvez... Ih, tô prendendo, tô prendendo. Acho que ele vai cair no mesmo lugar que o Jorge caiu. Acho que ele vai, vai, vai cair do penhasco que o, que o pai dele morreu. Ah... Uh... Ela, no caso, vai se tacar, né? Se matou lá. A dublagem foi bem boa também. Os sons do jogo estavam bem gostosos. A única coisa mesmo é que eu realmente, mano, talvez tenha sido mais um erro meu, mas eu não, pra mim eu não, quando o cara tava entrando no armário, pra mim não tava claro que ele tava entrando no armário, naquela decisão. Eu achei que, na minha cabeça, fazia sentido que o cara ia, pe queria pegar o humano entrando no armário, eu precisava chamar a atenção dele pra ele não focar naquilo. É, o que fazia sentido também, pra ser honesto. É, mas pô, foi ótimo, foi ótimo, tudo foi muito bom. Uh... Adorei. Vou deixar uma review positiva. Deixa eu ver se ela... Ela se matou, né? Acabou já. Vou deixar uma review positiva no jogo. É isso, rapaziada. Jogão. Tô muito feliz que a gente ficou aí até as 6 da manhã jogando essa, essa parada. É, passou das 12 horas. Não vou mais morrer, graças a Deus. Não vou mais morrer no, no, com a live de hoje. Jogão. Muito bom. Muito gostoso jogar esse jogo que você consegue prestar atenção na história e tentar investigar e ver as coisas. Uh, amo jogos assim, amo jogos de investigação. É a parte do quadro, mano, a parte do quadro investigativo, uma delícia. É isso.